Where do you think you're going? Whoa, we're at sea? I don't know what to do. Yeah, that that would be fun. Silence is a Hey, silence. <laughs> Terrible. Um, okay, so, uh, Christopher walking impressions aside, uh, you guys start on the uh, Wakazashi, um, a pirate ship. It is not yet renowned. You guys have only been sailing together with the Captain Captain Hope uh, Flamebeard for about a uh, what? For about a, about a year or two now. Uh, under his, I don't want to say guidance, but um, under his leadership, you guys have grown and and become powerful um, to a point where you're essentially you know tiny superheroes. Uh, so magically and physically, your prowess is quite renowned. Um, so yeah, uh, it is currently uh, storming horribly, and uh, on your, your ship is rocking back and forth. And uh, as you guys walk out out of your uh, little, um, I suppose, bedroom, living room kind of area, uh, you can see all the slaves working diligently trying to uh, trying to keep the ship going forward. Um, you can hear the the splatter of rain uh, kind of on the on the on the roof of the ship or on the deck of the ship. And, um, and there's your captain standing across from you, just wreathed in flames, as he is after all an elemental. Hi looks with you with kind of beckoning eyes. That come hither look. It's, it's, it's more like a, if you're not in front of me in two seconds, you can get messed up. Try not to be on top one another. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> uh, as you approach, uh, he looks to you and uh, he kind of looks outside at the rain and water with a little bit of a uh, little tinge of fear in his eye. He looks out to you and says, um, says, um, <clears throat> uh, the trade ship that we've been tracking is, uh, is finally near us. Um, I, I cannot lead you in this, um, in this boarding. And our fire arrows won't do anything. I'll get you close, but that's about the best that I can do. Uh, he looks around to the people around him and says, "We have enough slaves, and the um, and we're currently full. Uh, our cages are full in the uh, trade decks down below. So we uh, so just get uh, whatever spices and um, and good quality, and expensive trade goods you can. We're, th we're talking about gold here, not food. Uh, then sink the ship and get back here." Captain, why won't the fire arrows work? Says uh, that in the, in this storm, uh, they'll be put out before anything before anything actually catches the boys. I see. Well, I claim the storm is my friend, so I think this will be wonderful. He kind of looks you with disdain. So he says, "Good, then get up top deck already." <laughs> Uh, he points to the stairs behind him. Alright lads, off we go. Cool. Uh, you, can, you can kind of select your characters if you like and, and just go to there. Uh, this, this stairway never seems to teleport, so... No, it never seems to copy over. Um, so you guys currently have a small roof over your head, but um, I'm just removing it so you guys don't see it. You come up the stairway, and you can see a, I see about what six uh, bowmen getting ready. Um, they kind of look back to you through the uh, through the rice paper walls. Uh, looking for a command, essentially. As you guys are the left hands. Kill them all. <laughs> Wait until we're alongside. Uh, uh, my character. <laughs> yeah, um, I'll... Let me just go. Here. Uh, boom. There's that character. I'm just going to grab all of them and take them there. Thank you. You're welcome. You jerks whom I hate. Consider all dead. There you go. Okay. Uh, so you come out and you just start... Uh, once you leave the building, you're just covered in, um, covered in rain and water. Um, they... Okay, and you jump back in. <laughs> 
<laughs> I thought I heard something about rice paper walls. I was like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're currently underneath that, but once you get onto the grass outside, you're um. Yeah, and there is there is grass outside, by the way, on the deck. Oh, nice. Yeah, this that kind of shit. It doesn't have any seals or masts. Um, it does not. It runs purely off slave power. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, what, what's the approximation on uh, until we encounter the merchant ship that we're? Um, uh, who are you asking? Well, if it's too late to ask the captain, then just uh, taking a rough estimate. Rough estimate? Um, I don't know, probably like a couple of minutes, maybe. You don't know. Does this ship have a ram? Have a ram? Um, it has on both sides basically bridges that will fall down onto the enemy ship and allow you to cross. Okay, supporting. Yeah. Rather than ramming, okay. Okay, uh, so these guys, this one guy kind of looks to you, looks back, he says, uh, I saw them uh, through the fog uh, that way, but uh, it's difficult to see. He says, uh, once we, uh, if, if we do, if you guys do actually board, we'll, uh, we'll give you whatever help we can, but with this wind, it's going to be hard to hit. So we're on our own. So they, they say, uh, well, we'll try our best, sir. Hmm. Alright, Seaman, for future reference, that's starboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now find a Japanese equivalent of starboard, and you're good. <laughs> cool. Um, you, you you hear uh, one of the guys kind of yell out, um, "I see them! I see them!" As the fog um, seems to clear for a bit by the wind. And across the way, you can see this ship rocking in the distance. Oh, nice. Their ship also has grass. Mm-hmm. Good looking ships. They've got uh, ships. <laughs> when we came up uh, in the past here for a second, when we sure. came up, uh Donjo being a bard will be uh playing a pre battle tune <laughs> on, on his uh bamboo right reed flute. Sounds perfect. I have the tiger. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> Whatever it is, it gives We're everyone <laughs> 10 <laughs> temporary con hit points until. Beautiful. You begin everyone to. Uh, extra 10 hit points. You begin to trail behind the ship, and as you do so, uh, you, you, you can hear the, the slaves below start to struggle as they're forced harder and harder by the uh, Captain Ho. Eventually, you, got, you see yourself moving further and closer in. Until eventually you are within boarding range. Uh, at this point, when you're just about to make land, or make oof, whoops. Um, oops. Another, is this another building up front? It is another building. It's exactly the same as the other one. It's just um, you know, basic grass and such. Oh gosh! So we're about to try and board. Yeah. Um. However, as you get close. You start to hear bells ringing on the other ship. Ah, uh, you assume that you assume that you will have company, and this will not be as easy as you were hoping it would be. What what is it? The it's a stormy night. It's a it's a it's a stormy day. Um, so it'll be low light. Low light. Okay. Yeah, but um, most of the most of the ship's interiors most likely have light. So note that you have a minus two to any roll unless you have dark vision. Where is my boop? The ship event, you eventually hear a crash as your ship rams into the other one. And your, uh, and you, you the front ram, no, not the ram, the bridge goes down upon them. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna switch this around pretty soon. I'm gonna climb up top of the front building of our ship as cool. we're approaching. Beautiful. Do we see anyone on the deck of their ship? On the deck of their ship, um, you see, you, it's difficult to see from because from the back where you are, it's very high. Um, so even on top of your ship, you can base you're basically even their ship or their ships. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. So you have to go downstairs to hit the main deck. Ah, uh, yeah, essentially. So but, uh, there is, no and there is a building in front of you, uh, so it's difficult to see past. Okay. But yeah, uh, at the moment you can see uh, no one. 
Yeah. Can I go onto the ship and uh, do a stealth in the rain? That's my uh. As your cover, I'd say a hundred percent you could do that. Yep, uh, uh, it's Mask of the Wild. The other way as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so you, you Mask yeah, of the yeah. Wild, and let's do that. Sounds good. So, you, uh, but you require to still do a stealth check. Right. Um, my stealth check would be plus seven. So I'm gonna just. Uh, Sabia, is that is that how I say your name? That's my stealth check. Cool, cool. Uh, 15's very good. Uh, so as you approach, uh, you actually manage to see... Oof, every time. Um, as you approach, you see several of these men. Uh, they appear to be uh, trying to gather together and get ready for an attack. Okay. Uh, now, Samia, uh, yeah, Samia, um, as you're about to leave, uh, this guy hands you a particular potion. You see it's glowing, uh, bright, bright pink and, and yellows. What do you want me to do, do with this? He says, uh, it's fairy fire. If you uh, hit a guy with it, we'll be able to see where he is regardless of the storm. And we'll, hit, we'll try to shoot him if you, if you need us. I'll uh, keep that in mind. Thank you very much. <laughs> you racist. Continue. <laughs> Donjo is going to sneak around this side and try to get a view as well. Cool. Ah, uh, yep. You look on that side, and you see there are actually more guys on that side. <clears throat> Can I make out what they're equipped with? Like what weapons they have? Uh, most of them, most of them appear to have uh, katanas. And uh, they don't be they don't appear to be wearing heavy, much very heavy armor. Okay. I'm going to uh, come back here on this side and uh, tell the others I'm going to climb on top of this building here. And uh, when we're ready I'll begin combat with the spell across all these guys out here. Cool. I see a bunch of them start getting uh, start going up the stairs. They felt the boarding in there, and they're getting ready to attack. Okay, I'm gonna back up then to the rest of the group behind the thing here. Um, right, well, give, give me a give me a stealth check real quick. Okay. Um, that is. Twenty-two. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Um, I, I would like to use invisibility. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Cool. So you act uh, you activate your abilities. Anyone else want to activate anything before the battle starts? Yeah, I'm gonna while they're in front of me. I'd let, right before they. Uh, uh, did you want to jump into this building? It's rice paper to get through. Uh, you can just jump can through. Ah, uh, you can. Yeah. Uh, give me a climb check. So in the rain, it will be difficult. Just a quick athletic saving throw. But, uh, unfortunately, uh, you grab for it, but it's just too slippery. I uh, don't think you'll be able to climb it during the storm. Alright. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, um, so if you guys aren't doing anything else... Um, can I do um, my teleport uh, in the rain ability to teleport to the front of the ship? Oh, because it's low light? Yeah. Sure, uh, you can definitely teleport to the bow. Okay. Where did he go? Oh! Dang it. Teleportation. He left us! Cool. Um, so yeah, these guys are getting to here if they're rushing up. I see one of them kind of see you, and uh, they start they start yelling, they're boarding us, get, get up here. And they start charging up. Okay. Uh, I'll try to go past them. Cool. How so? Just going past. <laughs> um, they're gonna try to attack you if you if you do that. I'm invisible. Oh, you're invisible. Okay, sure, sure. Um, but it's also raining, so they're seeing drops of water bounce into off nowhere. It depends how heavy the rain is. Uh, it's quite heavy. Okay. It's so heavy it obst obscures vision. So, uh, give me a stealth check, regardless. Okay. Considering 
you're invisible, it'll be really difficult for them to see you. You have to get like a one. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and and stormy, so the water is writhing. So you managed to get to about yeah, go there. Alright, uh, well, I'm gonna cast a spell now, if that's okay. That's cool, uh, we'll start initiative then. So, uh, go ahead and cast, what spell are you casting? Hypnotic, uh, pattern. Cool. I'm just gonna make all these guys have one thing. Oh. There's one cheap ship. Yeah, yeah, I wish I wish it wasn't uh didn't screw up like that so <laughs> Yeah, uh, who's casting hypnotic pattern? Donjo. Donjo? Um you can't see that that kind of area. It's your considering you're like it's like five feet up and then another lot of feet. Uh, do they do they require having to see you for hypnotic pattern? Uh, no, I pick an area, a uh, thirty foot cube, and just so I pick pick like fifteen feet up in the air, and then I yeah. just fill fifteen down and fifteen sure, up. Sure, sure. And uh, what what happens to the people with the hypnotic pattern? Uh, they all make a will save. Cool. Or else, or else they stand around and not do anything. Cool. Cool. For a minute. Boom, boom. Failure, 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 failure. I'm going to consider a hundred percent failure for everyone except for the one guy who wasn't in. So you see, you see all their, all their eyes kind of glaze over, and, and then there's a whoa. They all um, stand there until they're attacked or uh, taken awake. Yeah, I, yeah that, I think that means everyone has like advantage or something like that. Cause that's pretty fast. Um, am I within the area? Um, everyone please roll for initiative, you can actually place your own in too. And, um, who are, who's saying, uh, am I in the area? Uh, Morgan. Uh, Morgan, um, I meant your character name, but, um, you, you have to climb about 10 feet to get onto the next layer of the ship. And then you have to... No, uh, I'm in the within no. the spell. Oh, no, no. No, you're fine. Okay. Doesn't I don't think it affects allies. I doubt it. Wait, how do I add my initiative to? Uh... Oh, you just click on the, the number beside your character's um, name and symbol, and you just uh, put it, put new one in. I don't think I don't think I'm on that list. Turn order list. Um, what character? Bureau. Bureau. Uh, you might not be on the list. Oh, that's right. You're on the opposite side of the thing. I didn't see you. Yeah. Uh, oof. I'll turn it off, turn it off. I'm not Thank you. Thank you. Every time I touch the freaking ship, it gets messed up. <laughs> there we go. Control Z really does fix everything. Cool. Uh, so yeah, what do you guys want to do? Um, considering uh, Donjo, did you roll? And yeah. Bureau? Okay, uh, what'd, yeah, you get? Yeah. what'd you get, Donjo? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna start with Sumia. Surima. Surima. Uh, the uh, Surima says to Dodger, I love it uh, when you do it, that it makes my job so much easier. Oh, yeah! Look at that! He moves up across these roofs, he moves 10 feet and jumps. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah, you, everybody over here. You try to jump from there to there? <laughs> yeah. How much? What's what's your jump? Um, I have boots, the magical boots. Okay. Um. So so roll me a um a athletics check, and we'll go from there. It's a twelve. It's a twelve. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh. So that means you can go ten feet naturally, which means you probably go what thirty feet. You could jump onto the roof. Oh, is that how it's done? I thought it was just like well, this uses your no, no, you, no. You, you, you generally have to roll, especially in windy, watery conditions like this. Okay, so you want me over there? Yeah, you you can jump onto that roof over there. Okay, because I can jump three sides by. Yeah, yeah, and your normal is thirty feet at the moment because oh, okay. you roll the ten. You can roll the twelve, which is essentially just a ten. Okay, I see. But I use thirty feet of my movement, right? 
Um, I'd say essentially that's that's most it's thirty feet of movement, yeah. Okay, so I jump again. I run until the tail of the radio. Okay, uh, we want jump tail. Next time, I'll just, I'll just <laughs> crap. You, you fall. Yeah, you you <laughs> fall. Um, unfortunately, it's about ten feet down. Uh, as you slip and fall on the watery area. Acrobatics. Acrobatics. Give me a check. Twelve. Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. 18. You're fine. So you take. So instead of taking two d ten, I say take one d ten. Take one point of damage as you fall. Uh, and that's just kind of on your, as you land, kind of on your knee. You're, you're still standing up and not thrown. Uh, what do you want to do for your, I assume you still have an action? Yeah, uh, as my cunning action, I'm gonna, um, use half of my movement to get up. Uh, no, uh, no, you're already, you're already standing up with your successful saving throw. Oh, uh, okay. Or you're, you're, yeah, you're fine. So I'm just gonna move over here to this guy. Cool. Everyone else seems to have no idea. He's very surprised, especially as allies are not trying to stop you as you approach. <laughs> and then uh, he takes a few swings at him. <clears throat> he, uh, bring it on. We got little girl. I insult you. There's a. Uh, Ooh, that's a hit. Ooh, that's a big sword. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so it deals 18 damage to him. Uh, you slash him good across the chest, and he actually... Uh, he seemed kind of take a step back, and he has to secure himself. He's going to try to do a... Oh, as he steps backwards, he slips and falls into the water. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, if he does come back, he'll, he'll be missing his armor and be most likely useless in combat. Um, I guess that's your turn. Sebastian. Alright, seeing this craziness going on around me, I am going to drop back down from the ship into theirs and try and roll into their rice paper hut. Cool, cool. Good. So you want to go into their hut? Yes, I want to end up about here. Cool, cool. Uh, if you're going inside, there are people inside. How many? Um, I will show you once I figure out how to ungroup, and then take the roof off. Uh, as you look inside, you can clearly see there's a captain's quarters. Okay. Uh, no. So in addition to, uh, this guy, samurai looking mofo, he used to look very powerful, he has one assistant. Are oh. they affected by the, uh, spell? Uh, they... Uh, the captain is, but his assistant is not. You see his assistant trying to wake his uh, wake his friend up, but not uh, to wake his captain up, but to no avail. All right, in here I'm going to go ahead and cast Thunderwave. Beautiful. Um, just uh, right now, assume right in front of you. Yep, right there. Beautiful. And they need to make a DC 14 Constitution saving throw. Okay, I was going to say, if it's dexterity, they're boned, because they can't move. But uh, Constitution, uh, they still have disadvantage, so most of them are going to be... Oh! Ah, that guy... Okay, so this guy fails. Oof, come on. I want to be nice. There we go. Ah... Okay, uh, next guy. Fails. Blah. Third minion. Oof. Blah. It gets ripped through the... Through the... Uh, it's gonna slap into Morgan. Uh, Morgan, give me a dexterity saving throw. Those. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we can't see Morgan because he's invisible. Yeah, we can't. So, poor Morgan, as he's having a guy okay, thrown at him. used to this. Um, so give me a dexterity save and throw. See if you can't duck as this guy flies through you. Fourteen. Fourteen. I'd say that's good enough. That you managed to duck and this guy's Oh, splash. And uh the final guy, the boss. Twenty-one. But he has disadvantage. Eight. He gets knocked back two spaces or three? 
Uh, two spaces. That's ten thunder, or six cool. thunder damage, and push ten feet. Cool. So he takes six thunder damage, and he's, now he's pushed awake. back. And now he looks at you with his sword and just oh, get over here now. <laughs> I am going to kill you. And then I'm going to cunning, cunning action disengage. Nice. Um. Okay. Feel free. And hop back on the ship. <laughs> okay, do you want to hack, hop on the stairs or hop onto like at the top, or do you want to go down? Cool. Uh, dungeon. Dungeon. Zachary. I will. Oh shit! I, can I see the captain from here? Uh, where are you? Oh no, no, definitely. Oh, are you, are you on the roof or on the ground? On the ground. Ah, uh, then no, not even close. What about if I move to here or here? Ah, uh, there, then definitely. It's a little meta gamey, but I don't care. Well, I'm I'm moving until yeah. I see the captain. Yeah. But go for it. You see the captain. All right. Uh, use the cantrip. Uh, vicious mockery. Nice. And make fun of him because we're about to steal all his stuff. Give it to me. Uh, do I have to do a save throw? Um, let me double check. Go ahead and roll a wisdom one because I think it's cool. a. Uh, he says you mock only yourself. But you can see he's ready to kill you. Oh, no. uh, that was a bad idea! <laughs> Biro, what do you want to do? Um, I think I'll move somewhere and hurt somebody. That's a good call, considering there's a fight. Um, I think I'll move here. Cool. That is... how many people is that? 30. And then I'll try and knock this guy into the water. That guy. Are you gonna, you gonna try to push him into the waters? Yeah, I'll, I'll try and do that. With okay, my, um... No. You, you have like, an ability that pushes people? I'm just Wait. looking. I thought I did. Um, maybe I don't. Oh, uh, shall just attack him. Cool. With my staff. Uh, you advantage because of this weird hypnotic thing. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So 15, 16, uh, that's definitely gonna hit him. 16 anyway. Okay, and um, then I'll roll damage, which... Wait, is this just a change? Yeah, I mean, wait. And what do you add, um, what do you add for damage? Do you add your, uh... Uh, you either add your strength or your dexterity, whichever you're using. Yeah, okay. Most likely your dexterity. Nine, nine damage, cool. So you give him a good punch for nine. Um, are you gonna keep attacking? Yeah. Cool. I'll keep following up. Yeah. Just, just keep rolling your punches until you miss. You know. Right. You should have four. So just roll four attacks. Right. Um, each one has advantage. So roll six, six more die. Yeah, the first attack hits. Well, the second attack. Uh, you have to roll one more, and the second attack's a critical. Okay. And that. third attack's gonna hit so far, but if you roll one more, you might be able to get a crit. Okay, so that, uh, every attack hits, so roll four, So and plus the last one, you get an extra die. So roll um your normal damage with an extra 1d8. One, one Okay, so there we go, and then another one with an extra cool. D8. Yeah, two D8. Yeah. So two D8 plus four. Cool. Uh, you 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 can do one more too. One more damage. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So you you just thoroughly start pounding them, and eventually your final attack with that little one is just you. With one finger pushing him over, he <laughs> falls onto his back. I, at the very least, not 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 awake anymore. Alright, so do I move forward with him then? 
Yeah. If you wish, you may. Yeah, I wish. I'll move to the edge of the boat. Cool. Um, cool. So the captain is not happy with Danjo, and as well, some other stuff's going to happen. Mostly to the effect of uh, two bowmen who are on top of the mast uh, are going to start firing off. Uh, everyone who currently is within the hypnotic thing cannot get their turn because they're hypnotized. Um, however, um, yeah, the captain will captain will attack because he's fine. So he's going to turn to Danjo and move towards him, invoking a tap attack of opportunity from a certain um, invisible fighter. And I'll take it. <clears throat> uh, can I use my uh, negative five for double damage? Did you move onto the guy? Yeah, I think I did by accident. Yeah, just move in front of him. Uh, what do you want to do? C could I use the negative oh. five for Absol double you can, damage? You can absolutely uh, do a, like a reckless strike or whatever it's called. Like a heavy uh, strike. It's from the <laughs> yeah, heavy weapon, weapon. Who cares? We know what you're doing. Let's go for a roll. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna roll the normal one and s just yeah. reduce five. Sure, sure. So it's thirteen and seven. Uh, unfortunately, even with uh, the surprise you have, it does not hit him. You uh, okay. you manage to slice into him, but it slices into his. Uh, What's it called? Uh, it's kind of leather gi. Um, okay. These uh, Sumia, I believe you punched the guy last turn, so the guys above you are aware of your existence. So they fire down arrows. Okay, I'm assuming those hit. Ooh. Cool. Uh, but fortunately, the roll though, I'm now need three damage total. Um, give me a Constitution saving throw though. Uh, give me two Constitution saving throws. With that one, uh, you can feel this kind of poison that's within them start coursing through your body. Uh, you can feel your hand strength start to sap. Um, you feel like it's some sort of uh, what's the word? Um, relaxing agent. It may. It's probably going to give you a disadvantage on your tax until you can get past it. Um, in addition, uh, the Donjo was just slashed that guy, but I think he missed. What the hero? <laughs> what what the uh, Donjo, you are getting slashed by the captain for a 23. He's gonna slash you again for a 23. I call shenanigans. You can call shenanigans all you want, but he just dealt 11 points of damage to you. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna use. Uh, my bardic ability, cutting words, to lower his damage by a d8. Awesome. Uh, roll for it. Nice. So, seven damage. Cool. Um, unfortunately, he's also using a maneuver, which uh, he's going to try to push you back into your boat. Um, which means, give me a strength saving throw. What? I know, but since what he just said about I go back to my boat. Hmm? Oh yeah, cool. So you jump back into your boat. Uh, basically, you fall onto your boat. I'm gonna say no damage, but you do land on the wet grass. Um, prone because you fell from so high. Um, in addition, we take an extra one point damage, uh, which is from the blade. Um, cool. Uh, I think like there. Yeah. Do your action. Yeah. So this building uh, that the captain is in is rice paper walls? Uh, it does appear to be rice paper walls, but he's not inside that building. This yeah. building is basically uh, on top of the ship, but yeah, he's over here. I can see him. No, he's just attacked him. I must be able to Yeah, see yeah, you can see him on the edge there. At the very least, you can see Donjo falling and a sword attacking him. Okay, I would like to jump through the rice paper wall into this building. So, that right pair wall's already covered in uh, holes. Okay, and to the south of me, between me and him, rip that open. Uh, hello? So. Can, can you not hear me? There's a little no, bit of static. I, I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I apologize for the static, guys. 
Okay, okay, so that works. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you, you rip it open, you can clearly see him. So, I uh, raise a fist in the air, yell Hadouken, and I use two Kai points to use Fist of Unbroken Air. So, cool, cool. I roll 3d10 bludgeoning. Actually, I'll use 5 points, so 5d10. Okay, and that's going to be damage. Bludgeoning, yeah. He, he uh, gets a strength for half. Strength save for half. He will do so. Oh, looks like he saves. Okay, so he gets... 12 point damage. Okay, this also knocks him back 20 feet. Uh, so even, even if he succeeds? No, no, it, yeah, it he's got, doesn't get saved for that. He cool, cool. Saved, and he's prone, so he's prone in the sea. So, drop... Uh, splash. Uh, Morgan. I laughed to myself. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll just act, uh, attack the one to my right. A normal hit. Cool, cool. Let's go hit. Those hit. Uh, a 21 at 11? Yeah. Uh, 21 will hit, 11 will not. Okay. Uh, so it's five damage. Beautiful. Okay, he takes and five. And then I uh, can hit again. Ah, uh, you can. You can do the same attack you just did. It's ten and five. So cool. No. So unfortunately, you did a miss. Are you using the um, what's the word? The ranged weapon? The nag nagi Yeah. Cool. Just making sure. Okay. Uh, at this point, your guys' ship back here. Um, let's go put this back on here. It uh disengages from the other ship. With you guys on top of it. Cool. With you guys with us. No, don't leave us. <laughs> I'm in no hurry. I can uh, I can walk on water a little bit. So. And uh, you see him basically try to move into this kind of position. Gets to about there. Oh, well, this was a bad idea. Uh, so, Suma, back to you. Oh, uh, real quick, I, I need to make a concentration me? check. Uh, what check? I need to make a concentration check to keep that bell. Um, only if you get attacked. I got hit twice by the captain. Then please do a concentration check. <laughs> yeah, how high is the crow's nest? It is 11, and I subtracted 8, or uh, 4. Probably about 50 right? feet. 50. Uh, what was it been? It was 7 damage, right? Or 8 damage? Ah, uh, sure. It was brought up. Alright, it's still going. Nice, yeah. You're fine. Okay, uh, what do you want to do though? Uh, Sumia. Sumia. Uh, this will end up according to plan as he points at the ship. <laughs> Why the fuck are you doing <laughs> so he um he looks up and how high is the prisoners? Uh, fifty feet. Oh, yeah, oh my yeah. god, that is one of the best. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Uh, okay, I'll take a double double move to get up there. Uh, part of my cunning action, so I'll just climb. You're gonna try to climb the mast? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you move at half speed while climbing. Yeah, like uh, my speed is fifty. Oh okay, yeah, cool, cool. So. Oh, you're, you're, you're so oh, nice, nice. So yeah, you do manage to reach the top, but that's your whole turn, I suppose. No, no, I use um, um my move action and my cunning action. Oh, okay, cool. So to to dash, so you're trying yeah. to dash up there. Cool. Um, you do eventually get up, but you would um, give you. You still need to give me a climb check because yeah, it is uh, uh, it's wet. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah. Cool. Uh, that was your first one. Now for the next twenty-five feet. Oh, okay. Uh, twelve. Twelve. Um, uh, I'd say the slippery nature of the rope causes you not to fall, but to, um, but lose about five feet. So you're still in the middle of the mast. Okay, so I'm right underneath the crow's nest so they can't fire upon me, right? Um, I'll say sure, why not? Your allies can take the damage. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> <laughs> go on, go hide! <laughs> I'm on, going to. No. Uh, Sebastian. Okay, so I'm stuck on this moving ship. Ship? Most people are. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know that the two of us important people are the most people. 
Uh, you said... <laughs> well, look at the archer. six other guys who are archers. <laughs> uh, yeah, your jump is, um, for every... If you're doing a running jump, it would be for every five feet. Or f every five, you can roll about, go about five feet. So if you right. if you roll a 15, you can jump onto the side. And I'm a burglar or a thief, so I get a bonus to that. When I make a running jump, the distance I cover increases by a number of feet equal to my dexterity modifier. Awesome. So I'm going to run to there and then leap to there. Cool. A 13 says so a 15 perfect amount. Assuming that. That, that wasn't uh, my roll. Oh no? Blackbeard, we. Statics. <laughs> and my dex mod is also. 13 plus wow. my uh, extra dex mod. I love how it perfectly does it. Um, cool. Now give me a climb check real quick to see how well you grasp onto it. Beautiful, yeah, you grab onto uh, the flag, and you're able to, uh, to be able to stay onto the ship. Uh, that was your your movement action? Do you want to do any other action? That was my entire move action. Yeah, but you, ha you have another action which you can use to double move. Yes, and I have my cunning action. Ooh. Um, I'm going to... Is the captain... The captain's dead already? You wouldn't know. No? Where's he at? Or is he out in the ocean? <laughs> He's probably somewhere. <laughs> I'm move up here to these guys and I'm gonna thunder wave again. Beautiful. <laughs> and then make a DC 14 con save. Okay, uh, or else take 6 boom, thunder boom, damage boom. and push 10 feet. Cool, uh, one of them does fail it. He was the closest one. Okay. And the other two take half damage. Nice. So, and how much damage are you going to deal? Uh, six to, uh, for max. Cool. So, three for the other two. Cool, cool. Oh. Next guy is a plus two. Looks like and the one that didn't make it might go off the edge, too. Uh, he was... He went that way. It's in his direction. So he's right there now. They are not on top of the net. Well, uh, Donjo, what do you want for? Donjo? I am going to... Uh, do I know, as a part of this crew, why we've disengaged the ship? Most likely so that the arrows can get a turn. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I was wondering why they were leaving. Uh, in that case, I'll hold my action. Oh yeah, uh, he's going to delay? Yeah. Cool. Uh, then you're gonna, initiative's just gonna turn to a dash, and whenever you want to strike, just give me a ring and you can jump in. Oh well. Uh, you can't jump in the middle of someone else's action, but, you know, after or before. Right. Uh, Bureau. Uh, just a second. Go for it. Yeah, the top one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so everyone's deciding to stay on this big ship, right? And they're not. No, uh, no nobody's abandoning ship yet. Yeah, okay. especially not the guys who are, um, you know, uh, uh, who are defending ship. Right, um, I think I'll actually. Can I cast a minor illusion of uh, Sumba? Um, where he was before he started climbing the mast. Soon before, uh, yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, I'll do that so the archers keep their attention on that. Cool. Uh, so we'll, I'm gonna pull a marker. There you go. The colors of an illusion. Alright, and, um, I think I'll just, I'll just stay over here and, uh, stealth, just stealth in the darkness. Cool. Wait it out for a second. Okay, uh, so uh, that's happening. Do I do a stealth uh, check or no? Uh, w where, where are you exactly? Uh, right, where my character is. Huh. Yeah, you oh, are hero. Um, it would be really difficult to stealth. Um, so give me a, give me a roll. Okay, I, um, I do right. have the, uh, advantage. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. See, that's bad. You don't, you want something higher Oops. than that. 
Uh, I didn't have my pluses, but you know. even even without whatever you get, that's really low. Yeah. So stealth would be a plus seven. So add seven to that. Cool. Um. So yeah, you're 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 not. People certainly aren't uh, looking towards you, but um, but they're they're most likely aware of your presence. Okay. Um, so bursting out of the stairs right here, just below the uh, the main building, a couple of guys jump out. And they're going to spread out and attack. Um, one's going to have to go for Biro because he can see him. He knows he's not part of the ship. Uh, the other one's going to jump on these stairs and attack Morgan. Uh, two of them are going to go for Sumia, who, the illusion rather. <laughs> Don't I get uh, attack of opportunity because he moves in my reach? Uh, who's saying that, Sumia? Morgan. Morgan. Um. Oh yes, you do because you have, I have the two tiles reach. Exactly. So go for and it. And he moves three times during before reaching me. Uh, you only get one reaction though, so you okay. can roll once. Yeah, Polar Master is pretty sweet. Six and twelve. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're both mess. <laughs> You're not adding your proficiency, are you? You get a plus three proficiency. So that was actually a nine and a fifteen, and that fifteen hits. Cool. Uh, so give me damage for the second one. Yeah. Um. You sure? So you can just slash roll regular damage if you want. That's what I usually do anyway. Cool, cool. Well, so the new guy gets three points of damage. Cool. Okay, um, so yep, they're gonna start striking. Uh, the two at the bottom. Sebastian, um... That's right, you climbed up, didn't you, Sebastian? Yeah, also, you're, the you're up on the top of the ship there. They're gonna look up to you and they're gonna try to climb up to get you. At least these two are. Uh, they're gonna do climb checks in the rain. There we go. Uh, they both climb up, but you can do an opportunity attack on one of them if you wish. I'm gonna lash out at the top one with my rapier. Beautiful. That's not popping up properly. Yeah, it's laggy for some reason. It's really annoying. There we go. They're like rats. Or it's like, you know, a ship that you're attacking. Uh, yeah. So unfortunately, you do manage to miss. And uh, they're going to try to... One's going to try to grab you and rip you off. Give me a dexterity or strength saving throw. Beautiful. Uh, he grabs onto you and he just slips off through the wet water, wet um, wetness of your clothes. Uh, the other guy does manage to get up and he's going to try to slice you. But he's going to miss. And uh, these guys are going to... They're going to move down. They're going to retreat. They're, they, got, they got hit a few times and they're unhappy. And uh, let's go for arrows on Morgan, because these guys don't like you. Just like, no. who are these people? You know, he's like, well, they figured they got to compete with Sally. What are we going to do, guys? You know, we're going to show them what's going Uh, looks like you take uh, eight damage, uh, six damage, rather. And uh, give me a constitution yeah, saving throw. I'm like, I'm a piece of salad, angry at And once again, apologies for all the uh, background noise. How are we going to compete with Sally? That's what you said. How are we going to compete with Sally? Cool. Uh, yeah, you, you can feel the poison trying to work, but you, you power through it. Okay. I think that's the... Um, yep. Someone would like to go, if, it, if I can see those archers. Oh, sweet, sweet. Uh, you can see the archers, however, from their position, according to you, it's very difficult uh, to shoot. They, they're going to have cover. So you will have disadvantage. That's okay, I don't need... To see them clearly, I cast cold light. Beautiful! Oh, in the middle of a storm, you have so have advantage. Uh, well, they make a reflex saving throw. 
with disadvantage because of how ter terrible their position is. Um, Flex is pretty good. I'm assuming that's a failure. Second guy. I'm assuming 17 is too high, so that's probably a success. Yeah, that's exactly. And I assume since since uh, Donjo's below them, I don't know if he, that he's gonna get hurt or not. I don't think so. Um, but the, 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 Donjo, I mean, the, the only damage that I'm gonna see if this whole mast falls or not. All right. That wouldn't be good. It could be hilariously awesome. Depends if it falls. Forward. 26 damage. I'm gonna say yes. Um, it is going to collapse. Uh, it's gonna to try to collapse forward, be tugged on by this net here uh, that's supporting it, and it'll rush backwards, falling on everything this way. Um, so um, I'm just gonna do a quick drawing. Uh, boop, boop. And there's now. Oh, that's not right. Please be a brighter orange. Okay. Ah, come on, drawing. Okay. Whose great idea was to attack in a thunderstorm? The mass would go all the way to here, correct? Um, it would. Feet? Uh, unfortunately, it hits this thing and it goes up high. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it um it hits that thing. Those guys are would be about there. They would fall off and die, or at least fall into the water. And be presumably dead. Eh, it could be fine. And, uh, Samira, you're about right there. And apologies for that bad drawing, but this, uh, with the lag, I have limited options. And, um, yeah, I guess you, this is your turn now. You're now at, um, 11. Cool. Uh, Corum, you're up. I'm okay underneath this roof. It didn't smash in or anything. Uh, Samira? Oh, um, the roof did smash in. Uh, give me a dexterity saving throw. Uh, what's that again? 20 plus modifier? Yeah. And proficiency, I think. Probably, if you have, if you have, if you've seen that. For a monk it is, yeah. Yeah, for a monk? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you're fine. So give me a roll. Whoops. I forgot a bit. Yeah, you cut root wheel out of there, you're fine. Cartwheel Wait, out. plus 7 plus 3, that's really high. Wait, seven? Four plus three, sorry. Oops. There we go. Regardless, you 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 passed. Okay. Yeah. Um so yeah, this massive uh the mast falls onto you guys. And um Corum, you're up. So that's me cart we liked. Alright, I'll go help Morgan. Cool, it's a good call. He's having trouble. Alright, uh I'll attack the one to the right of me first. Beautiful. I'm guessing that's a hit. Um a twenty up. Uh, that's nine to miss. Oh, cool. Yeah, nine damage. Okay, and I'll use second attack, not flurry blows. Just one second attack. Okay. Um, that was gonna hit five damage. He's still alive. Four. Uh, yeah, he's, he's still alive. Going. Okay. Um. Okay, I'll use flurry blows as well. Get two extra attacks. Beautiful. Is that a hit? Uh, that's a hit. Yep. Uh, he falls down the stairs unconscious. Oh, oh. Okay, can I use my second attack on the other guy? Uh, beautiful. Yeah, can. Go for it. Okay. Cleaning up more. Oh, that's a mess. <laughs> yep. Uh, so that's yeah. a miss, unfortunately. Yep. Uh, so, Morgan, you're up. You, you, you now have to keep up with your ally beside you. No. I'll uh, hit, hit the one on the right. 20 and 7. I guess the first one hits. Uh, first one does hit, yeah. Damage, 8. Five. 8 damage? Cool, cool. Uh, he's still up. Okay. Second attack. Uh, 11 and 13. Uh, unfortunately, that's a miss. Okay. Uh, I use um, action surge. Beautiful. Third. 4 more attacks. Yeah. First one, 14, 18. Hit. Uh, the 18's a hit. Okay, damage, 3. Cool. Second, 8th, and 15. Uh, both miss. Okay. Okay, uh, so your friendly ship gets into a better... Oh, oh. No. 
One second here. I guess we're not making these all one big thing. <laughs> let's just say they get in the position. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just say they're right here now. Uh, they're going to open fire on anyone who appears to be an enemy. Uh, these guys are actually going to realize that this guy's an illusion because they would have sliced him last time. Okay. Uh, but there are another three, four guys, five guys actually who are all exposed. They're going to strike one, two, three, four, five. Uh, at least three hit. And each one's going to deal 1d8. Seven points of damage. Yeah, to this guy, uh, to the guy right in front of Biero. And to this guy right here. Um, and it is Sumia's turn. Sebastian, we need help. Here. So you, uh, you, you can get yeah, climb off it or whichever way you want. Okay. Uh, <coughs> try to help him. So I'm weakened, uh, but I'm going to recklessly attack this guy. Sounds good. Sure. Is a 15? Oh, actually, it's a 13 and a 17. Oh, yeah. 13 and 17? Um, you're recklessly attacking? That's right, that's right, it's always good for you. Um, uh, you have disadvantage because of your, uh, of the stuff inside you? Yeah, I, I, I didn't roll good advantage of it, so it's a wash for the, okay. my records. Alright, uh, then Sebastian? Oh, did it, did either of those hit? Um, uh, the 7, the critical, no, that's not right. Uh, 15, 15. yeah, that would hit, a uh, 15 would hit. No, okay, so um, with that, it does an extra five. Cool. Then I move back. <coughs> so that's 15 damage total? Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, he, you slice him in half. Oh. Uh, so the other one's yours, Sebastian. Uh, oh, how did you, if you were to go up there, you'd invoke attack for opportunity from this guy. Uh, it's gonna go uh, he'd, he'd miss anyway. Uh, Sebastian, you're up. Alright, from where I am, I'm just gonna strike out first with my rapier, then with my short sword. Gorgeous, I love it. Nice, cool, cool. Hit. Oof. <laughs> Unfortunately, you slash twice, just the, the lightning strikes just perfectly to blind you as you go for your attacks. Um, so unfortunately you miss. You're supposed to be helping me! <laughs> and I'm going to disengage. Um, you're a rogue? Cutting action, yes. Good. Then go ahead. And... Move up here with the other guys. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Um, these guys aren't liking their odds. They're going to try to retreat to the inner sanctum. Did you skip over my turn? Um, probably. You are a Biero? Yeah. Then yes, I skipped over your turn. <laughs> I thought I thought I needed to yeah. rank on attack. Note that I am human. <laughs> so can I um do my shadow uh shadow move thing? Teleport? Without, yeah, without provoking an attack. attack yeah, of course. Game. It's just instant poof. Okay, um I'll the, teleport the, up to the Arthur guy. Mask. The guy does get attack of opportunity, but he hits the log that you leave behind you. Alright. So I'll like move up on top of the mast here. Oh, cool. Where the roof would be. Beautiful. Anything else? Um, can I throw a spear at one of the uh, guys down here? I'd say go for it. The front. Yeah, go for it. Sure. Okay. That would be. Uh... Let me just double check that. What's a hit? All right, and I'll attack the guy on the left. And um, uh, which the guy is the guy on the left? Uh, the guy close to the R boat. That guy? Yeah. Cool. And uh, it does. Eight damage. Cool. Uh, he takes it to the, uh, it kind of skins his leg, kind of rips a big chunk out. 
but it's not inside of them. Is the spear still uh, on the boat, or is it in the water? Uh, it lands on the boat, yeah. Uh, it kind of it starts rolling though with the boat in the tide. Okay. Uh, these guys try to move out. Uh, they all going to try to jump back inside of their ship. Um, this guy here, this guy's going to disengage. So one, two, three, four. Goes downstairs. Uh, this guy do something similar. So do these guys. Okay. Um, it would be Danjo, you're up. Alright. I will delay. Delay. Sorry. <laughs> delay it again. Uh, I, I will. Basically, I'm waiting until enemies come out as I concentrate on the spell, and if they don't, I'm going to just wait till we reboard and all our, guy, all our guys you know, come back. And I'll think the ship with lightning. Excellent. Uh, so he, Karom, what do you want to do? Um, I, hmm, let's see, let me text him first. Da -da -da. I cartwheel downstairs. Wait, is the exit in, in, in the house? Or is it that? What is it? The, the steps downstairs are inside the wee house? Uh, it's right here. Yeah, okay. Should change so, Right, I go in there part. and then uh, I can go down the steps. Cool. So you rush down the steps. Yep. Uh, the red circle is uh, the red circle is where they keep the cargo. It leads downstairs, most likely to where the enemies are. So that's another entrance. You think? Yeah. If if you guys want to try for it. Um, no, so stairs. Cool, cool. Do combat rule. Uh, you let, just select your token, and I will guide you to where it goes. Uh, it goes right here. Okay. And as you get down there, you see there are several enemies uh, ready to fight you. Where's my battle music? Cool. I uh, appears to be like Spence a. on the table. Yeah, he is on the table. He's actually holding a uh, small uh, bow and arrow. Okay. Yeah. They appear to be ready to fight you. Go for it. Uh, you can attack though. Five v one. Um. Let me, what's the dodge action again? Um, it is an action. Yeah, it gives disadvantage to all your enemies who are attacking you. Okay, I'm going to spend one Kai point to have that for this turn. Sounds great. Uh, would somebody say they were leaving? Whenever they attack me. And as well as that, I'll just do two normal attacks on the guy directly to my north. Oh, gotcha. uh, you're taking a, you're taking an action to go defensive? Uh, it's a bonus action I can do. Oh really? Yeah. Nice. It takes one tie point to keep on. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're fine, you're fine. Yeah, um, and then we'll roll to hit the guy that's doing with me. Miss, I guess. Uh, ten's very low, so yes. Second tech hits. Give me a... Th okay, seven damage, cool. Okay. And... Let's see. Yeah, I'll probably... I don't think I can also do flurry boost, so yeah. That cool. and the dodge. Uh, Morgan. Uh, I ran uh, go after him. Cool. Downstairs. Cool. Uh, the stairway is qu quite crowded. It's difficult to get down there. Huh. I'm quite <laughs> athletic. I'm a doc or something. <laughs> Just go to try to jump over him, invoking so many attacks for opportunity. <laughs> uh, sorry, from where you are, you can't really get a good attack. He has a reach weapon, doesn't he? Oh, he does have a reach weapon, so never mind. Yeah. I'd be about there. So give me a roll. Roll. Well, then 15. Cool, uh, 15 hits. Damage. 5. 5, cool. And roll again. Yeah. Cool. 21 and 8. Nice. Damage. Uh, 21 hits. 7. Beautiful. 
Quite um, intense. Yep. Cool. Uh, these guys are making more distance outward. Uh, Suma. So Suma, <coughs> seeing that it's crowded over there, he uh, moves towards the cargo, <coughs> and he's going to try to open it. Cool. Give me a strength check. A uh, 17. A uh, 17. Ooh, that is high, but DC was 20. Uh, you basically try to do it, and uh, you can get it up for enough so someone can slide through, but you can't yourself get through. Um, uh, Sebastian, he's not here for the conger. <laughs> now, cough, cough, the lightning, I'll blow the lid off. <laughs> uh, Sebastian, you're up. It's a wonderful idea. <laughs> Sebastian, you're up. Sebastian is going to call lightning to try and blow open the cargo. <laughs> Give me some damage. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's not sort the right idea. Just explodes it. <laughs> I'm gonna find wow. a whole token. But yeah, it is exploded. Um. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> He's lucky he doesn't own the boat. It was only a small one! Cool. There's now a hole in there leading to the next deck. Does it go all the way through the boat? or? <laughs> it, go it goes a bit through. You can, you can see cargo down below. Uh, Bureau. No, I'm gonna. Um, I think I have to go now. Uh, oh, uh, that's no problem, buddy. Thanks for playing. And if uh, if you can manage, you can you can uh, play along with our part two of this. Alrighty. Um, I think I'll just use my dash to get back on our boat, and then I I, get, I have to go, guys. So sounds good. So you just yeah, run on your boat. No, so you I have to. Uh, <laughs> no, the character. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Okay, um, so next guy, oh, I'm just going to delete you from the turn. Right, so I'll uh, see you guys. Bye bye. Uh, so these guys are going to all attack you, but with disadvantage. So one, two. Uh, 14 is going to miss, I assume. Uh, yeah. Okay, 6 going to miss. 14 is going to miss. 21 is going to hit, though. Yeah. Uh, do the archer separately. Huh? Is that? Uh, that's not the archer yet, that's the other guys. No, that's not. Okay. Uh, he deals 4 damage with a katana, the archer attacks you, 12. Yeah, he misses. Okay. I hate wasting crit. <laughs> uh, Danjo, we're back to you. Uh, I can't get to the ship, so I pass. I keep going. Cool. Uh, Corum. Me again? Okay. Um, hmm. I guess I'll approach tax of opportunity when I move on time. Uh, so, I'll do dodge again, so I can have advantage when I'm moving? Um, sure. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I move to here. Cool. Um, the all slice. Uh, it's a miss. It's a miss. Uh, it's a hit, I'm assuming 17 hits. Uh, my AC 17, yeah. Yeah, so it hits. Um, and... Yeah, so uh, one guy managed to hit you, and you are dealt two points of damage. Okay. So I attack the archer, two normal attacks. Cool. That's a hit. And 12 damage. Nice. Uh, he's still alive, yeah? Oh yeah, he's, he's still alive. alive. Okay. Yeah, yeah call lightning's amazing. I don't know how much Blackbeard loves it. Uh, 15's gonna hit. Ooh, yeah, you, you knock this guy off the table and he he goes down. Okay. Uh, Morgan. Uh, can I move in without... Yeah, yeah, you, you can move in fine. You've used your reactions. Yeah, they did not attack uh, I'll attack the same one as last time. Cool, cool. 19, 17. Uh, okay, looks like both hit. Damage, 8 and 5. Cool. Uh, yeah, that guy dies. He, fall he falls back into uh, through the rice paper, and uh, as he does so, you can see on the other side the captain getting up through the oar, through the oars. Okay. 
Uh, or rather the holes where the ores come out of, you see him and a couple of guys coming through. They're soaking wet. So that means I get an um, extra attack. It sure does. Uh, assuming, you, assuming you haven't used a bonus action. Yeah. So I can attack the one south of me normally. So it's 15, 19. Oh, 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 cool. cool. Uh, so 15, 19. Both hit. Both hit. Okay. Damage 7 and 5. Yep, 7 and 5, and you're. Cool, cool. And then I get the bonus attack. Uh, you only get oh, you only get one, right? Yeah, the normal one. Cool. I think. Yeah. Go for it. So it's seventeen. It's a hit. Damage nine. Cool. And who are you attacking exactly? The captain? The one uh, the south from me. Okay, cool, cool. And he's still up and kicking. It appears to be so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so up here, you hear from below decks that the uh, the sla the storm's too strong for the slaves, and they're being controlled by the storm at this point. Uh, they continue. To, they, the ships continue to separate. Uh, Donjo is getting separated from the rest of the crew, essentially. Uh, Suruma. <coughs> Uh, you look into that hole and you see the following. Yeah, you see this. Uh, you'll see a hole through that second cargo. The sec second uh, platform leads into a uh, another hold. Cool, cool. Uh, it would be easy to do, so no check. Just go down there. Uh, is it well lit? Um, there are candles, so I'd say moderately enough. Okay. I see two guys over there. Then I yeah. Move here. So yeah, you can hear lots of action going on over here, and now these guys can hear the same. That's against this guy right here. Cool, cool. Uh, that's gonna hit. And, ooh. Yeah, that's, he, he goes down instantly. Ugh. Blood splatters all along the rice paper walls. Unfortunately, as you swing, your blade, at, your blade lands into the what's left of the, of the mast. And uh, just gets embedded. Yeah, I back up right here. Cool. Um, you can't. Your your, your sword's embedded. You, if you back up, you're gonna leave it. Oh, I'll leave it, and then as I'm moving back, I'll draw my other weapons. Awesome. Do you want this action? Cool. Uh, this guy's going to strike out. Uh, this guy's gonna move here. Captain moves in. Uh, this guy's gonna I try get, to uh, attack off of uh, You sure do. Sure. Eleven and fourteen misses. Unfortunately, yeah. Do they still have the armor on? Uh, they appear to be not having the armor now. Uh, I'm just gonna put and a little they armor still on. have so much AC? Uh, it's mostly from dodging. Okay. Yeah, their, their, their armor was leather at the time. Okay. Uh, They'd be quite exhausted. <laughs> uh, from having to swim? Yeah, they would. They're not having a good time. But they're they're desperate to keep, to keep their ship. Um, so this guy's gonna try to slice at you, uh, Morgan. Okay. Uh, 19. Uh, it's on the hood. Beautiful. Uh, he's going to do 1D. Oh, he's going to attack again. See so if he can do that. He's going to miss, though. So he deals 7 points of damage to you. While on. While Corum, a guy hits you for 17. Um, these two are going to go for Sumia. They've got disadvantage attacking me. Oh, uh, you're right. But they get the same roll twice. Uh, two, two guys attack Morgan. Uh, 22 and 14, giving one hits. 
One hit, yeah. For three damage and two attacks. Sumia yeah, for six. Damage. Oh, they have advantage. Cool. Uh, six and sixteen. Uh, five and twenty-three. So I'm assuming sixteen hits. Yeah, both. Hit. They deal nine points of damage. To you. Sebastian. <laughs> you guys are having issues. Uh, Donjo. Uh, teleport. Can you teleport? <laughs> now would be the time to do it. Otherwise, you're uh, <laughs> you're out there on their own. So what do you want to do? I'll move over on the ship and uh, I'm gonna call lightning into uh, this spot right here, like where the orbs come out. Oh, trying to be able to burst through? Yeah. Beautiful. That's, see, that's called being smart. Um, so, uh, give me some damage. Um, you'd have to get at least about 20 to be able to puncture through with enough force to make a hole large enough for you. Or your teleport. Perfect. You blast a massive hole so much so it actually continues on and it blasts this guy, um, this man right here. Uh, hits him for about 12 points of damage. He's soaking wet so it does double. He just is completely fried. You, know, you, uh, you land in his, in his space. If you want to teleport there. And I'm assuming you are now at attack. Uh, do you want me to move you or can you move you? Uh, sorry, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, I can't do that. I can't teleport until my next turn. Okay, cool. Uh, Corum. Okay, did Sebastian take turn? Um. Did he? Did I blow out all their ore guys too? Um, the ore guys weren't, uh, were grabbed weapons to start fighting. That, that was the guys who, um, came. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I, I might have been skipped this round earlier. Yeah, uh, this is the problem. Uh, what do you want to do, Sebastian? You want to jump I'm down? I'm to sheathe my short sword and produce a flame in my hand as a small bolt of lightning strikes it to ignite into a ball of fire, and I'm going to climb Sweet. down into the pit. A small bolt of lightning, that's... Just a little bit, just enough to cause a flame. Uh, the, you land right over here if you're on the inside of the pit. Oh uh, yeah, I just dragged it straight down so I can get to the spot. No problem. Uh, you see two guys attacking Sumia, trying his best to defend. Alright, then I'm gonna make that produce flame attack on uh, the guy next to me. Cool, cool. Um, unfortunately, he is soaking wet, so he'll probably be fine. Uh, you have disadvantage, so roll twice. Yeah, I'm, I, it does manage to hit him, but he's just so covered in water that all it does is evaporate some of it. Yeah, uh, Coral. Okay, I took the guy to my right. Oh. Did I skip someone? Just want to, uh, real quick, remind everyone that they had 10 bonus hit points before we went into this fight. I don't know who's taken damage yet. I did see some exactly. people, uh, increased it, but I'm not sure how many. I, I forgot. <laughs> oh, now I have more. <laughs> Danjo! I still haven't been hit. Yeah. And my second attack since I missed. That must do. Cool. Um, Corum. Yep, so unfortunately you keep attacking and missing. Yep. Not good luck over there. Um, Morgan, what do you want to do? Um, I'll probably finish the one to the south. You can try. <laughs> hit! 24 that, and 13. That's a hit and a, hit and a miss. Hit and miss. Damage. 10. Nice. 10? Yeah. Okay, I thought, I thought it was like, I saw a plus 6, it was like, it's 10, it's a 6. Cool. Ah, uh, yeah, that guy goes down. Bonus Duh. attack. Uh, it goes for the Boston. Cool. So, it's critical. 25. That means oh. I get another attack. Uh, you already used your other attack, remember? You, you only get one bonus action. Is it? Yeah. It says when when I get a critical or a down, 
a you gift. can use uh, a bonus action, yeah. So bonus action is one per once per turn. Okay. So it's probably a hit, I think. Oh yeah, twenty's a hit, of course. Damage so eight. Eight. Uh, you actually get a roll twice when it comes to damage, so it'd be eight plus another one d eight, one d ten. Seven. Seven. Aha! Cool. Uh -huh, so that's a lot of damage. He's not looking happy. And then I get the first bonus attack. First bonus down. attack. Th this one was the extra attack. Oh, okay. So this is not the bonus attack. No, this cool. one is. Cool. Yeah. So give me, give it's bonus attack. Twenty. Twenty. Yeah, it's a hit. Damage twelve. Oh, beautiful. Oh, he's looking bad at this point. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah, okay, uh, these guys have to go further even. Danjo is sent even further back. Okay, uh, Sumia. Suma. <laughs> so, uh, Suma is, uh... There you go, Suma! It's enraged. He's a Juma. Just a little wrong person. Okay. <laughs> no one messes with my brother. That kind of situation. <laughs> cool. Ah, uh, so he's gonna take attack up two from two of them. Is that what you're... I, thought, I thought the rules was like as long as you don't leave uh, threat area. That that is a rule. I don't go for it. Okay, then um, let me attack first. Then. Cool. They'd miss anyway, probably. They rolled well. So, here's uh, one against the top and one against the bottom. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that one's gonna hit. Hit in half. Okay, so ten all together. Cool. Oh, I critically missed. Ooh, that's a shame. Um, so yeah, you go for a slice and he ducks and it just slices through the paper behind him. Sebastian! I, oh, go ahead. the ability to get all the way over here. Oh, okay, cool. Try to pull my others. So, yeah, cool. yeah they, 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 they miss you and give yeah give me a strength saving throw and try to pull it out. So, 20. Um, cool. Uh, 20 is enough. So you rip it out of the mast. You can feel mm. it kind of sha shaggle or shagger a little bit, or stagger a little bit. Um, and these guys turn. Um, this guy is going to cast... That, you skip me again. Every time. Yeah. It's, it's a, oh, he skips past you. This, the, your character and S Samia's character look similar to me for some reason. I think you're the same person. Go for it, Sebastian. <laughs> Poor Sebastian. Uh, from right here, I'm going to strike with my rapier. Go for it. I'm still not able to hit things, so I'm going to disengage. <laughs> Consider being a different class. <laughs> cool. I uh, disengage and get there. Cool. Yeah, these guys are going. One's going to go for you, Sebastian. The other one's going to go for uh, Samia. Uh, Sebastian's going to come at you. This one's coming at Samia. <laughs> That's six damage to Samia. Uh, Morgan, you're being attacked. Oh, this guy's going to do a spell. Uh, appears to be heal of healing nature. Okay. Not very powerful healing. Uh, While well, the other two are going to slice. Uh, one at Morgan, and one at Coram. Yeah, uh, 20 on your Coram. Disadvantage? No, no, it doesn't anymore. No, that's right. Uh, four points of damage. Danjo. All right. So do I see what? What exactly do I see? Where um, I it's it's getting foggier and foggier. Um, so it's getting it's getting very difficult to see from where you are. But you can see that this whole area, uh, it's it's difficult. But you could grab onto essentially if you needed to. Uh, so can I, looking at the bottom map down there, kind of like teleport over to here somewhere. It's 500 feet, so it should reach. Oh, it's 500 feet? Yeah, you can easily teleport inside there. I, th I, th I thought it was like 60 feet, so yeah, you're fine. No, I've got dimension door. Beautiful. So a small door opens, and you just jump out. And... Uh, can I make a height check just so I don't get 
Ambush. Um, I'll, I'll let you do a stealth check, but um, after the lightning bolt, it will be hard. <laughs> you're kind of, you kind of, you kind of made your scene. Out there looking back this way, still. I was all the rushing water and the hole. Not sure if they would. Cool. Um, so 12, that's, yep, you're, you're gonna attack while you're there. No, 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 that was my stealth check. Oh, yeah, um, you're not very stealthy. Um, Corum. Oh. Oh. Uh, we are a racist, <laughs> I attack the guy next to me. Beautiful. Try to hit. No, nope, no, nope, that was that was a one. That's the opposite of hitting. Uh, okay, that's a hit. Okay. Plus six. Cool. This guy's yet to be hit, so he's still fine. Okay. Uh, do you want to do anything else? Do what, sir? Do you want to do anything else? I'm assuming it's Morgan's turn. Uh, Morgan, you're up. Okay, I continue on the bow. Attack. Oh. You and your crits. Stop critting, I demand it. I should be the one critting. Uh, so yeah, so so deal double damage on the first hit. Two or dice or just double? Two, 2d8. Or 2d10. So it's 8 and 7. 8 and 7? Beautiful. Uh, yeah, so with that final crit, you hit him right in the throat and he goes down. He falls back and then, uh, with the waves, he gets uh, basically rolled back into the ocean. No loot. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he did probably have some on him. Uh, if okay. you want, you can do something else if you like. Yeah, uh, I'll attack the one next to Coral. Cool, cool. Uh, twenty-three and nine. Twenty-three and nine. Yeah. Uh, twenty-three and a nine. Uh, twenty-three is gonna hit. Damage six. Six damage. Cool. Um. Uh, that guy's still. Up, or you, you take the bottom guy or the top guy? What? Top guy. Top guy. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Uh, he's a little bit hurt. Uh, and then I get my bonus damage or attack. Cause, cause he critted. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Or downed any of them. Yeah. Um. Uh, Twenty-three. 23 damage? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, 23 hits, yeah. Damage, 8. Cool. Uh, that guy is... Yeah, he's down. Ah. Okay, um... Tsuyuma. And then Sebastian. Because that's how turn order works. <laughs> You're gonna forget again. I will. 100%. I should start. I should start rewarding you guys when I screw up. But uh, Suma, it's your turn. You can get one copper. Attacks with uh, his great sword. Oh. So uh, twenty and twelve. Twenty's gonna hit. So it's a uh, twenty damage altogether. One second, let me just change this guy's broken shield. Oh, it's loud, isn't it? Cool. Uh, so yep, you managed to attack this guy, doing 14 damage. Uh, twen uh, 20 altogether. Uh, the second attack doesn't hit. No, I know. Oh, uh, you get extra damage. Cool. Uh, if you do 20 damage, he's down. Ah. Okay. Uh, uh, cool. Sebastian. Okay, uh, Donjo, it looks like... Nah, I'm messing with him. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, buddy. Rapier and a short sword right here. Cool, oh, uh, just... Pro tip, hit. Okay, uh, 20 <laughs> hits, but you do minimum damage. <laughs> pro tip was? Your pro tip was to hit him, and you did it. But you should have done more damage, I thought that was obvious. Oh, well, I can always apply my sneak attack. Oh, you should. Uh, but you, you require an ally adjacent to you. Oh, did I? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you're going to be dealing four points of damage. Um, this, you kind of stab this guy eh, moderately well. He still seems okay. Uh, but he's going to slice back at you. Uh, for a 20, dealing 1d8. Deals eight damage to you. And the other's going to go for Morgan. 19, I've seen the hits. Dealing five damage to you. 
now uh, because he hit and uh, attacked and hit me, I'm going to use my accolade of this. Or what was it called? Vengeance I, of the Storm. I love it. Deal 2d8 lightning damage to him. So wh where does this li where's this lightning come from? Uh, as he strikes me, I just kind of start glowing and I just kind of <laughs> shove outward. <laughs> the lightning just erupts from my arms cool. and my deal, face. Deal, deal me the damage. Lightning damage. 10 lightning damage. Uh, he is blasted backwards. He just lands uh, back against here, unconscious. Is that the wrong guy? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, it was Sebastian who was doing it too. Yeah, I thought that was the guy who hit me next to me. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, for 10 damage, and he gets knocked into the hole. Duh! Why has he got the lightning symbol? Yeah, uh, double damage lightning. Ah, yeah, remember, because you... Yeah, he was in the water. Cool. Um, so... This, yeah, and Dunja, you're up. This guy's not as All right. The last ninja. Can I see anywhere in there? Um, uh, you can see through many small holes, so yes. There should be a big hole since they <laughs> went through it. Yeah, there are many. There are many holes you can see through. <laughs> All right, I'll just use cantrip, vicious mockery, and uh, make fun of him because this captain's dead. Cool. Yeah, I want to. I, I want to hear the exact insult. <laughs> Hey there, jerk. You're a big <laughs> shooter head. Uh, sure, uh, he's gonna do a roll? Yeah, we'll save. Oh, he crits it. Why would right, he crit well, on this? He doesn't have disadvantage next turn. Okay, uh, Corum. Yes. Prove uh, that you're the strongest member and finish them off. No, I think it's Morgan, but anyway, I'll move over to attack him. Is he gonna attack on me? Uh, no, he wouldn't. Unless okay. you want Morgan to attack you. Which case he could. <laughs> he should, uh, but he could. I know. Roll the attack. <laughs> uh, first attack mixed, but the second attack hits. Dealing six points of damage. Okay, he gets punched, he gets knocked back a little bit. Staggers, but he's still fine. Uh, Morgan. Time to be a hero. <laughs> uh, I'll attack him then. <laughs> Since he's still in range. Cool. 20 and 10. Cool, uh, 20 hits. Damage, 10. Okay, uh, he's not looking good. Then, again, 19 and 23. Both hit. Uh, total, 11 points. He's gone. Oh, yeah. you, you, you murdered him. You, you, are, you are the taker of life. <laughs> uh, the, sh the ship goes silent. Uh, you guys can do a little exploration of the ship. You find sleeping areas, as well as a, uh, a cargo room, which is just below, which is just the deck underneath you, uh, slowly filling with water. Uh, shit. Uh, it's up to your uh, ankles at the moment only. Take the loot! <laughs> I said, uh, Danjo, which one should we get? I will make it. I'll make a uh, investigation uh, check to look around. Check. Give me a roll. <laughs> By the way, how? Uh, uh, um, so uh, you actually do find something. Uh, you find one small chest that you open up, and it's just filled with gold. Um, but it's so distracting that you see nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so you find a small chest. Uh, it's about, uh, it's kind of like, small in the bread box, but it's filled with gold coins. I found but, uh, this, guys. <laughs> it's filled with ten gold coins. That's yeah. uh, not quite enough to share, though. <laughs> cool. Well, hurry up and grab something else. You guys so, have uh, how, how quickly is the ship flooding? Do we have time for a short rest? Um, you, yeah, I would say in an hour it will be, it will be in a, it can't, it will sink kind of perhaps, portion. It'll, that, that whole area will be completely flooded uh, in the basement, yeah. or the, the deck below you will be completely flooded in an hour. 
Uh, is there a ladder or something to the deck below? Uh, it appears um, it appears no, but uh, a little bit of investigation you could probably find. It. Let's investigate. You go find what you need. I'll see if the other ship is nearby. <laughs> What? So, I'll, uh, I'll just investigate, go on. I'll do investigate too. Cool. Uh, you guys jumped in. Oh, what are you investigating for exactly? Something. Uh, away down stairs. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so with a 17, you actually find that underneath the stairs is a ladder. I found the ladder! <laughs> uh, now who was looking up, um, who was going to look for their boat? Uh, Suma. Cool. Uh, Suma, as you get onto the deck, you start looking around, and beyond the stormy fog, you don't see anything. Sebastian is going to wander up with him. Cool. Uh, Sebastian comes up and he sees the same nothingness. Uh, at this point, you notice uh, that the ship is kind of tilted slightly. Um, if the ship should be like this, um, it's kind of like this now. So it's got like a five, probably like a five degree uh, dip right now. What do you guys do? Uh, I go okay. downstairs. Cool. Uh, you climb down okay. the ladder, okay. or whatever it is you yeah. do, and eventually you uh, you go downstairs and it's about up to your ankles. Yeah. Okay. Do I see? You? Uh, you can give me investigate. You see boxes and boxes of crates. Uh, you can give me investigation checks to look at the labels and see what's valuable. I see nothing. Yeah, you you uh you find uh, box you find crate after crate of grain. Uh, grain, grain and rice. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I also go down to search. Nothing. Uh, particularly for anything that'll help repair, repair the ship, like caulking. Cool, cool. Give me a roll. For caulking specifically, uh, you do not find anything uh, where you are now. <coughs> okay. Okay. Uh, what do you guys want to do? The ship's slowly flooding. You are on your own. Have we found anything yet? No. <laughs> uh, bother. <laughs> We found all these lifeboats and apparently we've been abandoned. <laughs> we need to get out of here. Hurry up and gather round. Okay, let's get our uh, gather. <laughs> Did a gong or something? Did anyone no. bring anything that makes loud noises? I left my gong. <laughs> nope. I have lightning. Did someone uh, buy a whistle? Sebastian has one. Sebastian also has water walk. <laughs> Go get them. <laughs> Just I can bring you with there. me. Um, <laughs> Blow the whistle. Dingy. Dingy. Yeah, and there was a gong there, gonging before. Did everyone do a search for loot before we leave? Not yet. Uh, you guys, you guys tried. We only found this grain so far. I'm gonna specifically search the captain's cabin. I was searching for beautiful <clears throat> for loot. Um, so uh, the captain's the captain's cabin was the one um, just upstairs. Yeah. Uh, it it looks like this. One. However, uh, you look, you can look through a small kind of porthole. You can see this room. However, the door appears locked. Uh, it is a mix of steel as well as um, what's the word? Uh, wood. Go through uh, the paper walls. The wall yeah. Uh, <laughs> exactly. The, the walls appear to be uh, wood connected to this this guy's cabin. Okay, let's move <laughs> on <with> lightning. <laughs> okay, you gonna try using lightning on it? <laughs> well, I don't have it. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, the Sebastian will wander over and uh, try to unlock it with his thieves tools. Cool, cool. Um, give me a roll. A ten. That was very poor quality roll. <laughs> um, so yeah, you you try to open it, but it's going to take you the whole hour. You won't be able to get any rest. Can I know uh, I've got high strength to bash it on? Well, if somebody's trying to bash it down, you won't be able to un undo it. So if you want, you can let them try, but if they fail, it means it's going to take you another hour. So it takes an hour to try and bash it down, Joseph? Um, no, it's just you're trying to do it open, and then somebody just starts bashing it, and that keeps screwing you up. 
don't know if it's the east. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, um, so what are you guys doing for that hour while the thing is flooding? Uh, uh, resting. Can I search the cabin upstairs where I was fighting and the captain was hiding at the beginning? Um, sure, sure. Uh, you search in there and you find various maps. Um, although it's difficult because of the wind and how many holes there's through, uh, most of it appears uh, to have flown out into the sea. Okay, I'll take the maps back for the captain. Cool. Uh, you can only found about one. Okay. Uh, it is the map that you guys had at the beginning, so it shows so you guys can find where you are. Okay. Uh, let's loot the dead bodies, guys. Cool. Uh, you guys start do looting dead bodies. You find uh, most of them are carrying uh, katanas. A couple of wakazashis among them. Uh, one guy has a tanto. And um, some of them have some silver. It's not too much, though. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, it seems that they're going to get paid upon the return of these uh, equipment. So you only find about eight silver between all of them. When we were searching the other cabins, were there any documentation or logbooks of where their destination was? Um, the logbooks would most likely be in the uh, this right here, and uh, all of this flowing out the window. Uh, so so far we've only found grain, right? Um, yeah, it's about up to your knees at this point, though. Well, the water. one person crit field and found grain. Yeah, and then I only searched for repair stuff, so you can search again. For loot. Um, you want to take all the katanas? Uh, doubt you have room for them, but you find about four. Yeah. They found about four. Yeah, four is good. The other ones are wearing using lock Someone else want to search the cargo? Does anyone know if uh, grain is a profitable <laughs> trade <laughs> item? Hey, it's a trade good. We we could use it. Yeah. Uh, wet grain, not so much though. It's okay. I'm wondering if it's dry. Excuse me, GM. Uh, What's up, buddy? Sh shouldn't the rice be absorbing all the water that's flooding the ship and so give us much more time? Un unfortunately, it's, it's, I've already calculated for that. No, it's not <laughs> enough. There's some, of, some of the things are ready to burst, though. I see. Some uh, of the crates are about guys, to burst. There's Terrible. no dinghy, and I don't see the other ship. No. Um, you do see that this thing actually goes down. Oh, I'm sorry, Adam. Uh, <laughs> this thing actually goes down another one. But is it full of water already? I appears to be completely flooded with water, yes. Do you have water breathing? Yeah. Ten minutes. Okay. I should go down there and check to see if there's any highly valuable cargo because I doubt that this merchant ship's making this passage just for grain. And ninjas, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I'll do you. I'll use my ring of 10 minutes water breathing to do a search like that for cool. valuable loot. Okay, uh, you see that there's a large thing that the guy did lightning didn't manage to actually pierce through. Or at least not enough. Okay. We can do it again uh, if you want. So, can I move it? Uh, yeah, you can, uh, just go for it. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll move it up so to you move it up. Oh, wow. Cool, cool. Uh, and you, you can swim down. It's very dark though at this point. Do you have dark vision? I uh, don't have dark vision. Okay, well you have to work on feel. Um, I can okay. help him. I've got high like, dexterity, do you want some kind of rule for that? <laughs> no, dexterity will not help you. <laughs> for feeling things. <laughs> I think it would be more like uh, wisdom. <laughs> uh, I take out a uh, gold cone from my purse and, oh, uh, ouch. And uh, <laughs> uh, use uh, continual flame on it. Ooh, okay. So I'll it's a that. flame that can't be uh, extinguished. Yeah. Cool. And uh, it so doesn't turn. This, this little flaming coin, uh, you know, bursts. But this little coin fl bursts with flame, and you drop it in the water, and it's this heavy gold just keeps falling until eventually Morgan catches it. Or it's, whoever's. Uh, it lights like a torch. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. He catches it, and he starts using it. Uh, you start looking around. Uh, this appears to be the bilge. Uh, it's where all the junk of the ship basically washes down to. Uh, it's all floating around you, and you notice that that's what the taste in your mouth was. Um, however, you do see down there somebody was repairing a small boat. Uh, a what small boat? A small boat was being repaired down here. Okay, so I'm uh, trying to maneuver that up to the deck above. Cool, cool. Uh, it appears to be tied down. Okay, I 
attempt to untie it. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, you could you manage that. It takes about five minutes, but you do manage to uh, grab it. And, uh, you can give me a strength check. Try to push it up to the top. Okay, it should be quite easy because of water. It be yeah, cold. yeah. Water's um, still, water's still heavy and it's still causing issues. Plus, where's my strength? Uh, Thirteen gives a one of our one. Is it? Two. Depends on if you have it. Um, you should be fine. I think it's plus. And proficient. Do you get proficient bonus? Um, for strength. No, I don't. Problem. I have it for saves. I have it for saves. Yeah. yeah. Uh, unfortunately, with the with how heavy it is, uh, you find it very difficult to get to get out. Um, okay. It takes it takes you all of your water breathing plus a little bit more um, to actually get it out. Uh, eventually, you come up a gasp, holding on to this uh, boat. Uh, okay. af after a little while, you actually manage to pull it out. Good. Um, at this point, I will say that the door has been unlocked. So, I'm gonna wander in there and begin rifling around. Cool. Uh, you see some papers, uh, mostly journals, on the uh, on the table there. Um, hey, it's all gonna be shoved in my bag. Cool, cool. In addition, you see a chest. Does it appear locked? Uh, it does appear locked, yes. Alright, I'm gonna begin poking at it with my thieves tools, hoping I can get it open. Give me a roll. Give me a roll. Yeah, you uh, you open it up, and with a successful doing it so quickly, you kind of raise your arms up to in victory as this little bolt goes right past your head. Um, and just kind of op open your mouth and agape in shock, but then eventually look back and quickly stuff what the uh, the little thing the bolt came out of with with paper, so it can't shoot anymore. But uh, but yeah, it appears op it's open now. And what am I finding in the little chest? Ah, uh, it appears to be in addition to a uh, a plus one a uh, uh, a masterwork rather tanto, uh, which is a uh, a small dagger like blade. Um, you also find uh, some papers in a waterproof uh, bag. I'm gonna transfer. Or how big is the waterproof bag? Um, it is. It's more like a waterproof canister meant for papers. Okay. I'm gonna get as much of what I collected previously inside the waterproof canister. Cool. Cool. And throw the rest of that in my bag. And now awesome. that we found something of value, I'm gonna wander back up and try and gather the party to the top deck. Cool. I'd like to search the desk in that room before. Uh, the, the desk is empty. Because somebody stuffed all the stuff into a bag. Okay. Ship's sinking quickly, fellows! Let's go! Up, up. How's, how's the boat coming? Uh, the boat? Uh, it is now... Uh, oh, uh, the boat is now... That place is now completely submerged. I'm assuming most of you would get out. Um, however, uh, it's it's now starting. This this whole deck is starting to flood. Okay, and uh, second boat. Uh, that second boat is now floating and slowly rising to the top. I will show you what the boat looks like. The boats. We don't need boats. We've done this before. We used boats those times. <laughs> we used Not boats the one. I'm pretty sure I've got it pat down right now. Cool. That's similar to this. Can we all be in? Uh, you can certainly try. You might be squished. You might start sinking. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Take a couple seconds and cast <laughs> a few spells. Cool. Like what spells? One is going to be protection from poison to heal Suma from his uh, earlier poisoning. Cool. And the second one is going to be water walk, and that should affect everyone here. Awesome. Yeah, everyone can now water walk for about an hour. An hour? Oh. Can I sit in the boat and rest while you guys water walk? <laughs> yeah, we have can just push it. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's okay. Because cool. if I have a short rest, I could reduce some key points. Hmm. You guys okay with that? Yep. Yeah. 
Cool, cool. Um, so I think is there one first? One, two, three, four, five. No, that's everyone. Um, so y'all, just so you want to jump in the boat, or what do you guys want to do? Uh, the people resting are getting in the boat, and the rest of us are walking and moving the boat through the water. Cool, cool. Um, so I'm just gonna start deleting the ship as it falls through the water. Blah, 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 blah. Exactly. And there goes all your profits. Not the flowers! Blah, 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 blah. The head is still there. No. No, we're taking it with us. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you guys start sailing. You're sailing out to sea. After about an hour, uh, your your skill starts to subside, and you have to get onto the boat essentially. Okay. After an hour, I have a keep. Uh, cool. Cool. Okay. Uh, I use my telescope to nice. search for the arm ship. Still quite stormy. But um, after another hour, uh, the storm starts to subside. Uh, you look around and you can't seem to find any other ships. Okay. Uh, can you fly, Dumbo? No, I cannot. Okay. Anybody? Unfortunately, not. Okay. Does wow. this boat or this rowboat have a small sail? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you guys are finding it lack of room. One of you might want to, you know, that, that drowns so the others may live. <laughs> no, that's fine. I'm Why are we use, laughing? I'm going to use a key point, shape of the flowing river. Cool. So I'm going to shoot, uh, make water 30 feet square freeze 15 feet high Nice. Um, with the boat on top. And we're going to look from this height with the telescope to see if we can spot our own ship. Beautiful. Um, this is from this iceberg. Cool. Uh, give me a perception check. All of us, or...? Uh, whoever's looking. Uh, he's got the best perception. Um, well, I've got a telescope. Do you want to use it? Be, be a good call. I have one as well, which I put a check in, but it didn't pop up yet. Might want to just try rolling again. <clears throat> uh, perception's wisdom, is it? Yeah. It is. Okay, so that should be plus. You go, Karate Kid. Okay. Careful, Jackie Chan might come in there and find those kids. <laughs> That was good. 21. Beautiful. Uh, and that was with your um, spyglass? Yes. Cool. Um, you find a ship in the far, far distance. Um, so far, you actually can't actually see what it's um, what it is. Um, you don't know, if, you don't know if, your sh if it's your ship or if it's another ship. But you see in the great distance to the northwest. Yeah, raid another ship. <laughs> I'm going to produce flame and fire it up in the air like a flare. Cool, cool. Uh, you f fire it up, uh, you look over to the other ship, and I uh, don't really see any reaction from it. Uh, it's, it's probably about, it's probably getting late at this point. Probably about dusk. Okay, how far is that for you to teleport? Um, how long will this ice last? Um, it should last many hours. There's quite a lot of it. At the, in the book it doesn't give a description. As it begins to melt quickly. <laughs> quickly! It's a <laughs> huge <Well, no>. surprise. <laughs> cool. Now, should we guys with you? So, Suba tries to um, get the bearings, see if uh, they're near any nearby island. I, I give my yeah, I give my telescope to Danjo for the time being and meditate again while cool. I search. So give me a give me search check. Well, while I search. Uh, using your constellation, using the constellation or rather the sun and the uh, the sextant, uh, you can tell where you are, and it's it's not near any major islands. 
Um, there might be a few uncharted ones around, but you would you haven't mapped those yet. Okay. Oh god, that's Plan. hardcore. Anyone have a plan? Thinking. <laughs> so you're literally meditating. Yeah. Hey, I'm pretty good with just sitting here for a while. Wouldn't be the first time I've been lost at sea. <laughs> Always the storms to keep me company. The probably kind of only way. Sanjo plays with flute in meditation. <laughs> so you guys are on top of an iceberg playing a little playing a little flute. Well, well some of you are meditating, another using a sextant with the sun. Did the other ship appear to be row power or wind? Uh it looks like it's row power. Okay. You can see oars on it. Are there any oars floating nearby from the ship that just sank? Uh, no, but with a proper craft check, you can make one of ice. That would be what? difficult to touch. <laughs> uh, anyone particularly crafty? Well, boys, I I give me your shirts! <laughs> <laughs> he just wants to see you naked. <laughs> I, I don't respond to the request. Do you need <laughs> Cool. We need to hang around like come to one side of the way. Nothing's gonna happen until you guys take action. Oh oh yeah, yeah. It's, whatever. She lost a while. It's fifteen feet thick. If you if you want, you guys can just push off her or I'm gonna spend Let's some time. Let's go with to, the uh, fashion my own clothes and my spare clothes into a rudimentary sail. <laughs> cool. Um, give me a tell to save. From my staff. Give me a tell to check for that. You do a surprisingly good job. <laughs> Especially for someone who, who doesn't do this as often as how good he is. So, uh, yeah, you, you managed to do it, and, um... We'll uh, affix it to the uh, rowboat with uh, the offered staff. Yep. Um, uh, go ahead and shove us off of the ice! Uh, the wind itself seems to be doing that job for you. Oh, splash! You're not gonna find that easy, is he? Without the boat. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm oh, going to cast you. Gust of Wind to get us going pretty quickly in, in <laughs> the direction Perfect. of where we know our ship to have left a couple hours ago. Um, okay, so you're just going some... So if there's a ship you can see, and you want to go backwards to... Well, did our ship go was. off in the same direction as the ship that we saw in the distance, or no? Uh, your sh you know what happened with your ship. Let's go get that ship. Alright, we're heading towards the other ship. Cool. Uh, is anyone looking at it as you guys go over the horizon? No, <laughs> we've all got our backs turned to it. You can if you'd like. I will look at it. I think I'm facing it. in that direction, but I've got wind coming through me, so... Cool, cool. Um, as you guys look in that direction, um, you can see the ship slowly getting bigger and bigger, until eventually it's just... You realize that it's this massive capital ship, and most certainly not yours. As you approach, you can see it's really some sort of gigantic, turtle-like ship. Let's steal it. Does it bear any flags? Uh, it does bear a flag. A flag of Captain Kame. Who? Have we heard of Captain Kame? You have heard of Captain Kame. Um, you can give me a history check to know how much you know about Captain Kame. Ooh, I've, I've got history skills. Kame. You wish it was Captain Kame. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> You're excited. So I've got proficiency. And I've got decent wisdom. Cool. Uh, you know that this is a captain. Uh, he is of he's essentially a uh, Hawaiian, which is from the far east of here in the open, unexplored open ocean. Um, he uh, he's a very peaceful captain, and uh, he's created a essentially a large tavern-like ship where ships tend to dock and can uh, search for things. 
Um, in addition, Calm, uh, which your character's name, I don't remember. It's me, it's, it's me or something. Uh, oh. you, guys, you guys really need to change. Like, Donjo, I know is Zack. So that's that's my complaint there. Sebastian what? is also Zack. Calm is Calm. <laughs> Why are there two Zacks? Son of a... And they both like lightning. Yeah. <laughs> um, in addition, you've heard you've heard uh, myths and stories about this boat that it's um it's kind of uh, um this is kind of a myth that it always comes to people in, in need. Um, you you've always thought that was kind of a silly and you know, wasn't true, but considering your current situation, eh, it's not such a hard thing to believe anymore. Okay. It is. No. So we yeah. come to it in need. No. Like, we actually came to it. Not so it for us. We're continuing to more, move towards it. Cool. Uh, you guys move towards it. Uh, as you go, you see that it has a, a large tail like um, structure that appears to be a dock on the back. Uh, you can see that there are actually two ships currently attached to it. Uh, one appears to be uh, very similar to the one you guys um, wrote out initially. And the other appears to be made out of dirt and trees, like a floating island. Okay. Um, can we perception check? Is that like a one of those giant turtle or whatever? Okay, you can give me a check. Uh, would that be wisdom, yeah? Sure. Um, it doesn't appear to be living besides the trees. Um, with a 13, you do notice the center most tree. Oh, come on, huh? One second. He's being annoyed. There we go. Um, yeah, uh, you, you notice this oh, besides the trees and a small, a large tree in the center, which appears to be moving more than the rest. It's not moving by the wind. Um, you see it appears to be normal. Like a, By normal, I mean a giant pile of dirt. That appears to be floating in the middle of the ocean. Okay. Uh, eventually, you guys can land. You want to try? Uh, real quick, I'm gonna roll uh, healing dice. Cool. For Call. A, a short rest. Yeah. A anyone here can uh, can roll uh, hard dice in order to heal themselves. Everyone get the bonus. That... Everyone got a bonus three. Okay. I didn't lose anything more than the temporary hit points before. Cool. So. so yeah, you're fine. Um, eventually you guys get up to the dock enough that you can actually climb up one of the ladders. Okay, so we look for a rope to tie the boat up along the side. Uh, you see there is plenty available. Okay, let's tie the rope. Uh, let's tie the boat up. Cool, you do so. And step onto the dock. Uh, you see that there are two large doors here. They appear to be in kind of the uh, the fashion. They appear to have artwork on them, in the fashion of a turtle, the man riding on top of it. I see. No. Uh, and once again, as you approach, you can see that there. Are, it's not powered by small oars, but two gigantic oars that dip into the ocean. Let, let's not try to blow this one up, shall we? Um, no, as, for my guys. as you push open the doors, you see that there are many people in here, just filled. Uh, you can see that the roof goes up tremendously high, about a hundred feet. Um, at the very center, you guys probably zoom out to make it easier to see. Um, at the very center of the um, of this turtle is a small garden with a tree. Uh, there's a hole a hundred feet above, which light is streaming through, which illuminates the whole area. Um, over on the other side, you can clearly see a large three-story building on the inside of the turtle. Uh, in addition to another smaller building, which is surrounded in a kind of bar-like fashion. Um, over here, you see several druids. Uh, they appear to be quietly discussing. Uh, up here, you can clearly see some sort of weapon shop. Uh, over here appears to be a fish vendor. And um, over oh, here, you see a couple uh, members of a... Uh, most likely of the other ship, um, yeah, they appear to be samurai in nature. 
And uh, every now and then at some of these tables you see a few people just speaking. Uh, despite there not being that many boats outside, you assume that these people are, um, I don't want to say castaways, but um, they're, they're just people who hang out on the ship. Uh, you can see some you see some passengers going to and fro from these uh, holes in the bottom. You assume uh, holes uh, probably stairways leading down into the piles of the ship. And of course, you see uh, two people: a dwarf and a much uh, chubbier, foreign-looking looking man. Uh, the dwarf appears to be more sour. The foreign man appears to be more happy. It's a closer. What's our plan of action here? Uh, you can they, rest they appear, and get food. They appear to be serving alcohol. Well, Let's aside from that, are we gonna are we gonna stay on this ship or? Well, I'm sick of carrying all these katanas. I'd say we would sell them first. <laughs> and if oh, we could get good. back to our own ship, I mean, we are supposed to bring something back. We can pirate one of the other ships on our way out. That's fine. <laughs> We'll see how it goes. Indeed. Yeah, let's go sell the katanas. Alright, we enter and proceed towards the weapon vendor. At least I do. You guys walk up the stairs. You guys uh, can go and go see what the vendor's up. Uh, he seems to up. He appears to have many weapons on display, including some crossbows, bows, you know, swords, short swords, uh, katanas, etc. Um, he asks, in the center, uh, just above a glass display, appears to be a flaming katana. Oh. Fancy. He gives you a smile as you, as you approach. First of all, guys, does anyone want a masterwork dagger? Tanto. Or should we sell that for delicious money? <laughs> I'm open to selling it. Acquire a uh, so. masterwork two-handed katana for our uh, Suma. <laughs> Sounds like a good treat. So, is a good bargaining. <laughs> Sebastian's going to uh, move up to the vendor. Cool. And I'm gonna cast Thaumaturgy, and as I speak to him, I splay my arms out and say, Greetings! And Thunder is just gonna crackle off of my body. Yeah. Uh, the man has a small pipe in his, uh, in, the, um, in his mouth while you speak to him, and uh, you see his, his, his demeanor doesn't really change, it's kind of all sour as he looks on you and display magic. He just kind of gives a puff of smoke. I have a uh, delightful prize I would wish to barter with you. Let's see it. I carefully pull out and unwrap the masterwork Tonto. Uh, I takes it up. You see him kind of put out one finger and see how it balances. Uh, that's a good weapon. How much you want for it? Uh, well, I do see that you have a very interesting uh, fiery blade. Um, what would uh, you be willing to deal with in order to make an exchange? Uh, he says uh, you're going to need more than steel for that. It's expensive. You can't uh, well, of it back course, yet. I have gold as well. And, uh, um, how much you got? Well, me, myself, I have... Uh, let's see here. I had um, oh, nearly 400 uh, gold pieces. He gives out a laugh and says that's not nearly enough. Well, if you would have let me finish, I'm also willing to say that uh, my companions and I could uh, also offer our services if you have anything that needs to be done. He says I'm not the man. <laughs> but, uh, I, 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the offer, but no, I'm not the man, sorry. Uh, he kind of points down to this vendor and says, uh, yeah, better luck with him, though. The fishman. <laughs> yeah, he, he kind of gives it a laugh. <laughs> he seems to be missing something. He appears to have misunderstood which services you were offering. <laughs> hey, we're, we're seeing like well, ruffians. What else could we offer? <laughs> are, you ask, are you asking him? No, I'm. 
conversing with a uh, party. Awesome. What's the quality of this chest that I picked up? Uh, the chest? The chest itself. You mean the one that was filled with gold? Yeah. Uh, it's a small wooden chest. Maybe have some nice oak. Probably about, you know, five gold pieces. What about the gold that's in it? The gold that's in it? That's probably about a hundred. Okay. He kind, of, kind of looks left and right. Are you guys, are you boys gonna buy some or? Uh, I'm not interested in buying anything. What do you guys think? I don't have any money on me either. Well, did we end up selling the katanas? Yeah, sell the katanas first. I hit he'll offer you about ten gold per katana. Okay, wait. Was it five? He's, he's mostly. It, it should be more than ten gold, but because he. He figures they're stolen because of how they're covered with blood and salt. So, uh, so he he's not inclined to pay full price. Well, I think you should pay full price because, as you'll notice, we have these weapons covered in blood. <laughs> he, he he gives out a smile and says, "If you want to try some, I say go ahead." Can I try to persuade him to pay a fair price for them? Um. <laughs> You mean unfair price because they're stolen goods? A, a fair, a fair price for them. You can give me a, a charisma check, and I'll, I'll consider it. Um, persuasion. Persuasion. Yeah. If you want, like, hey, I know these are stolen. We're in a tough way. Give us a break. That's. Or you could decept do deception. Be like, oh, hey, these aren't stolen. Uh, he kind of feels pity on you. He's willing to buff up five gold per Yeah. I think that's as good as we're gonna get, boys. So we had five of them or so? Uh, yeah, I'd say five. Okay, so five times... What was 15. it, 25? 15? Okay. You wish you 75? Well, Captain's dog! You guys know the captain's near. <laughs> Where's that fire element? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Cool, uh, so what do you guys want to wish to do? Yep, sell the katanas for 75 gold then. Cool, yep, he accepts it. He gives you a small pouch filled with 75 gold pieces. Okay. Um, shall we sell the tanto? Uh, real quick, what's this, uh, team information handout? Oh, that's... That's ancient and from a different game, so I apologize. Yeah. That's that's from a different game. We got, got quite a bit of stuff in here. <laughs> yeah, it also says that the stuff is going to the Iron Ascent. Do you know where that is? Part four. It's literally thousands of miles away from here. Same universe though. Oh, same universe. Though. Yeah. It's yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, look okay, at so let's. I'm just gonna skip over to. Wait, Blackbeard is talking to who? Oh, he's gonna try to that barkeep. Okay. Um, so yep, yeah, you, you can talk to the barkeep. Uh, he kind of looks at you and uh, he's kind of like a chubby guy. He's he's obviously from out in the ocean. He seems kind of like has a kind of Hawaiian, Hawaiian feel to him. He looks to you and goes, Mahalo. Uh, Aloha. Hello. <laughs> so how can I help you, brother? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, he got separated and stranded from my ship. And I was hoping... Uh, where exactly is this uh, ship, Toto ship, going? It says, uh, uh, that's the question, isn't it? Where, where are any of us going? This big crazy ocean. Only Azeroth knows. I joined the conversation. <laughs> um, ah, so you like to speak in Zen? Well, <laughs> rivers yeah. need springs, and good news from afar may bring you a welcome visitor. Ah, uh, you see him take out a fortune cookie and go, yeah, I got that one too. <laughs> Silence is a true friend who never betrays. He, he kind of looks back and forth and then goes to the other guy and says, what's with him? Real knowledge is to know the extent of one's ignorance. He's the poetic type? <laughs> he kind of gives out a laugh and says, you boys want a drink? Not now. <laughs> Very well. Uh, 
Could, have, could I have a room, please? Um, I, a meal? He says, uh, uh, meals are usually taken care of by um, the vendor over there. They're all fish vendor. He nods. Excellent. Go get fish outside. <laughs> he, he laughs and says, and you're free to. I won't stop you. Because <laughs> that's where he usually gets his fish from. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll talk to you later. You'll have a good day. You as well. I know about that jerk. <laughs> yeah. I assume um I'll zoom in here. Uh, Danjo, I assume you're just meditating by the tree. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yep. There you go. He sits shade the tree, playing his flute. Yep. I'm good. Uh, so sushi. Cool. Um. Danjo is very uh. Is doesn't talk much outside of combat. Oh, he mostly a, mocks his opponents. Couple of copper pieces will get you that sushi. Do you have so any copper sushi. pieces? Uh, yeah, I've got change. Cool. Only take a few. It's just fresh. Yeah, so buy some. Eat some. Okay, uh, what do the rest of you guys do? Uh, I order from the bartender. <laughs> Uh, what are you ordering? Uh, what's the most ex expensive thing he has? What was that? What's the most expensive thing? Uh, he laughs and uh, he gives you a nod and says, uh, I have a certain wine here I've had for, but I've built 200 years. His price? Uh, 100 gold pieces? I'll buy it. Cool. Um, I'm not using inspiration. Who, who's this saying again? Um, what character? Morgan. Morgan? Cool. Uh, I'll, as you drink it, I'm going to give you inspiration essentially. Uh, boop. Yeah. So, uh, next time you really want to get a roll, I'll give you advantage on it. Nice. Uh, but you drink it, it's a fine, delicious wine. Best you've had in years. Awesome. Uh, do you uh, place a hundred, uh, you place a hundred gold down on the table? Yeah. Cool. Uh, I dropped, uh, ten PP. What's that? Ten plus now. Cool, cool. Um, I ask, uh, ask him if there's an uh, inn on the boat. Uh, he laughs and uh, he points downstairs uh, into specifically these places. Uh, boom, boom. Uh, he says there's um, the doors don't have locks, but you can bar them from the other sides. Uh, so, so, so don't leave anything down there. <laughs> okay. Okay. I inquire about renting room, having a rest. Cool, cool. I'll take my bottle and go to uh, find somewhere to rest as well. Sweet. Uh, yeah, just put yourself uh, on the on the space. Okay. For some reason, I keep making these things more. So I'm going to take a long rest. Uh, so those two are sleeping. How about uh, Soma or Soyuma, uh, Danjo, and there's somebody else who's not. Nope. Oh, yep. Just you two. Uh, you guys want to do anything? Uh, Shimmy's just gonna go outside and finish it. Cool. And what? You oh, you guys sleep in the boat? Yeah, I don't want anybody to take our dinghy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sweet. <laughs> um, give me a perception check with disadvantage. I would want to be down there too. <laughs> sweet. Please, okay, uh, two, sweet. Uh, Sebastian, you're gonna, oh, you're an elf, aren't you? Yes. Cool. Um, so give me a perception check. Just regular. Crit fail. Did you crit fail? No, he hasn't really. <laughs> crit fail! Oh, crit, crit fail! fail. Yeah. <laughs> um, as uh, you kind of open your eyes as you see somebody kind of finish climbing the stairs and then run out, um, you start feeling up at your, your possessions and you find some of them missing. 
Uh, I will tell you which one's here. Uh, both. Oh, I'm gonna put this in the back so I can actually see you guys. Uh, Selima and Sebastian. Uh, so Sebastian, let's see what you're missing. Um, you find your potions of healing all gone, as well as your spyglass. Oh no. no. Uh, and um, Soma or Soima, like it looks like an L from here, not an I. Um, that's weird. Uh, as well, you find your entire backpack has been taken off you. Ooh. <laughs> it's a, it's a Sebastian! Oh, wake up! Yes? Our stuff are gone! And what stuff? That guy! <laughs> somebody went in there with our stuff! Come on, quick, follow! So, uh, I'm gonna try to follow. Uh, by the time you get up to where you are, um, probably took about, you know, 30 some seconds, I uh, look around and you don't see anybody moving quite fast or anything. I ask, uh, is the bartender around? Uh, only the dwarf at this point. Uh, whoever's in here, I'm gonna ask, where did he go? He shrugs and says, who? Uh, so I'm gonna start doing a perception joke. See which uh, it's, uh, 25. 25, okay, um, so you, you saw his leg, it looked small, might have been a child or anything. Or a dog. Or a dog, yeah, <laughs> or a puppy. <laughs> puppy dog. Cool. I'm going um, to go for step it. back outside and stare at the sky and begin preparing spells. Cool, sounds good. Okay, um, so what's with you? Oh, uh, you knew it was the foot of a child? That's about it. A child or a half foot? What was that? It's very loud on the side, so... Is it a certain direction that I missed? Oh, no, you, you only saw his leg um, going from up the dock. Besides that, you see no one. Okay, I'm gonna go look, down. If I don't see anybody upstairs, um, fitting that. Cool. Yep. Go downstairs. Cool. Uh, you look downstairs and you. With your sword drawn, uh, you don't see anyone. It appears to be rather empty. Uh, besides rows upon rows of rooms. Okay, I'm gonna open all the rooms. Well, one second here. No, 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 Okay, and you, you basically keep doing that. Uh, every now and then you open up a door and you find people inside who forgot the bard and um, the people, you find a few humans, a few uh, elves. Um, but uh, most of the rooms are either empty or locked. Okay. I spent that time just working for Cool. Uh, Sebastian, we with you. You just wrapped. As I wander back into the tavern ship, I'm going to cast Locate Object as a ritual. See, that's called being <laughs> smart. <laughs> I don't have ritual. Yeah. Cool. Uh, what object do you want to look at? I am going to locate I will, I will. Soma, or Soma's backpack. It's the most specific item that I can search for. Cool. Okay, uh, so his backpack, um, you, uh, you actually do find it, but it's up to the top right. One second here. Once again, yelling. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you guys go to the... Yeah, thank you for the trusting thing there. Um, so yeah, uh, you guys are... You're, uh, sorry, one second, everyone's loud over here. Uh, you actually do f uh, detect it is up here by the weapon shop. Alright, I'm, as I'm concentrating on the spell, I'm just gonna wander around. I'm gonna pull the Tonto out again and approach the weapons vendor. Cool. Uh, as you go up the stairs, a kind of halfling kind of looks at you as he's going down the stairs. Kind of like gives you a guilty look as he's walking down it. As he's moving past me, since I'm still concentrating on you the detect, spell... You detect nothing. I detect nothing on him? Yeah. It, do I still detect the object in my area? Yeah, you, you detect it over here. Okay. 
So I'm going to. Do you go recognize up to... that guy as the guy who took it? Uh, I didn't see him. Yeah, you didn't see him. You saw his foot, but that's about it. It was very dark. Fast. And they, good morning. Hello again. I, I apologize for the difficulty we gave you yesterday. No I problem. I would like to uh, once again see if I could uh, unload this weapon. He uh, shrugs as I apologize, but unless you're uh, willing to accept gold or trade. No, yes, yes, uh, gold, gold or trade is fine. So I'll, I'll give you a uh, flat weapon, two hundred fifty gold. Mhm. Mm as I'm, you know, Sebastian's a wood elf. As I am. He just sounds like a jerk. As I'm thinking over his offer, I'm going to you look can, around at some of you his can wares. You can clearly see it. You can, can, can clearly see it on the table. You can detect it and see it. All right. And are my belongings nearby as well? Um, you don't see your belongings, um, mostly because they'd be more expensive. They'll most likely be hidden away instantly. And I'll be willing to take a small hit in the price if you throw in that uh, bag of gear as well. I they only took two items off you. Um, oh, you mean the bag of gear, just his items? Yeah. Cool. Let's assume his items. Cool. Um, he looks back and says, "Okay." Um, kind of starts right looking through him again. Says, two hundred gold, and you got a deal." Uh, yes, that's wonderful. So I kind of opens his hand for the two hundred gold. Oh no, is he asking 200 gold or...? He, he wants 200 gold and he'll give you stuff. Oh no, I was uh, offering to trade oh, the oh, yeah, Tonto yeah. for what he was going to pay me and the bag. Yeah, yeah. So it'd be more like 300 gold then. Well no, it would, yeah, it would be 200 gold, yeah. Because he's, he's selling it to you. Uh, so, he, so he gives you, he takes a Tonto, presumably. He gives you 200 gold and the backpack. backpack. Okay. He is keeping those potions in that thousand gold uh, spyglass. And as I begin packing that stuff up, I'm going to make a investigation check to see if there's any indication of where my things might be. Give me a roll. It'll be more like a perception check because you can't uh, really perception. touch it. Either way, you got a really low roll and can't find them. You got, a, you got three on your first roll, or six? Uh, first roll was a straight up six. Yeah, so. Couldn't find it. Oh, uh, yeah, I'd say most of you are. Yeah. Uh, what do you guys want to do? I uh, come up and. I look for Dungeon to get my telescope back. Dando. Do you love my telescope? Alright, you can have it back. Thank you. Is it a new day now? Yes, yeah, a new day. Am I still poisoned? Ah, uh, no, you're fine. Do you, how much uh, HP do you recover on? Uh, what is Shurim doing? Let's look at the guards. Oh, he's that you. You guys going down? Uh, that he's holding his weapon out. People just assume that he's drunk. Uh, if he started attacking anyone, that's when they'd actually really, really start doing it. But um, there's not a lot of people. Not enough. Not enough guards down there anyway. See Sebastian. You ask him what's going on. Uh, who you asking? Sebastian. Cool. Oh. Uh, We've been robbed while we were sleeping. Oh, um, uh, Zuma, I, this is yours. And I tossed the backpack over. I believe so, but she's no longer in possession of it. It seems that he sold everything to the weapons vendor. Yeah, I think he's a little, little kid or aspirin. Yes, that seems about right. Dango brings everybody breakfast. Hey, cool. I probably just cost like a like a silver piece to get all all three together. Uh, as he's doing that, I ask the fish vendor whether he saw a halfling pass with the backpack. Uh he nods. He saw he saw him come uh, come in with it, and then he saw him leave without it. He assuming he traded. Can he uh, describe 
it happen? Is clothes or? Um, he says wearing a grey shirt, though it might have just been wet. Uh, he say he went down there. Uh, okay, thanks. Uh, I'll buy some more sushi. Cool. Did we pass him while going up? Uh, you do remember passing a half thing, yeah. That's probably uh, guy. But you didn't really take a good look at him as you passed him. Our, our stuff still on us? Uh, everyone's stuff is still on you, as far as you know. <laughs> uh, how much, he probably uh, didn't steal from you while you were awake. Morgan, how much? Uh, uh, you're, you're at full HP now, if you and full key and everything. Yeah. If you did a full sleep, then you're fine. Full 100% everywhere. Um. So ask Sebastian whether he can do low kit item to find a halfling. Can you do low kit mm. halfling? No, I, I don't think I could locate halfling. Um, mm. If we knew he still had something of ours, I probably could. Locate gray shirt. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. You're not familiar with that shirt enough to be able to locate it. Gray shirt or wet shirt? <laughs> you just get to this <laughs> this guy's gray shirt. <laughs> Some guy over here. I could locate the nearest gray shirt. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, the weapons vendor knows what it looks like. Let's go threaten him. <laughs> oh, don't you guys got a new very charming! He's got a flaming sword, how are you gonna beat him? Persuade? I love when I people, think, I I love when people have a quest and they get distracted because somebody stole their stuff. But continue. Okay. Does nobody <laughs> want their breakfast? Uh, I, I assume everyone's, like, you're holding plates and people are just eating it off it as they, as they scramble around angrily. <laughs> that sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> what does he think he has? Oh, well, I'll get right a refund. <laughs> I go up to the weapons vendor and glare at him. Cool. Uh, he kind of looks at you with his pipe. Didn't really. His his face doesn't really change. It's pretty stat static. static. Is standing behind them sheepishly. I don't think we're gonna get anywhere with this. Just saying. I uh. I keep telling I'm you guys, if you want that sword, we gotta pay for it. I punched the halfling. What happened? The vendor. You gonna punch the <laughs> weapon vendor? I'm gonna I... punch the weapon vendor. It's just an unarmed punch. I'm not, yeah. I'm not stabbing him. Uh, you still do like dealing seven <laughs> points of damage as you knock him back. Um, he's going to grab for the sword, and he's going to uh, point it towards you and do a blast of flame. Uh, roll me a dexterity saving throw. I cast calm emotions. Uh, <laughs> you could do it after the flaming blast, maybe. Okay. Uh, I like to use my reaction on the key point for dodge, which gives him disadvantage. So, uh, it's you have to are the one dodging. Dodge. Would it give you advantage, or just does it give the enemy disadvantage? It gives the enemy disadvantage on attack rolls, and it gives him advantage on dexterity saving throws. Awesome. So give me a roll. Okay. 1d20 plus... Um... Do you say I've got another story rule again? Yeah. Yes. Can't legally do it again. Oh, I thought I had a bunch. Okay. Cool. Um, so a 12 is what you have? Uh, well, yeah, if he has advantage, he can yeah, roll that. Roll, roll again. Huh, um, so you take slash roll a 3d8. You take 70 points of damage as you are blast with flame. Uh, he points it kind of in an upward arc, so it um it doesn't hit you two. Yeah, and I'll cast calm emotions, and uh, the four of us need to make a charisma saving throw. He's fine. <laughs> I s oh my god! So much fine. His emotions nice. continue to be enraged. I just punched this little bastard, and he oh, I'm tried fine. to set me on fire. You punched him for seven damage. You probably broke a rib. And he set me on fire. Yeah. Wait, the weaponsmith <laughs> is a halfling. No, he's a human. So 
where's the halfling? The halfling, the halfling probably went downstairs. But he just, but uh, assuming he had decided to punch a, punch a guy with a flaming weapon. Why didn't you take the weapon first? Well, he has it safe, doesn't he? Otherwise he can just lift it off. And crumble and wander off. It's laying there on the ground. Ah, uh, it's in his hands now. Yeah, up the floor. Okay, uh, so I guess we're fighting now, or...? So is someone um, picking, stealing the flames or not? I'm confused. So, uh, Soma thought it would be a good idea to punch a guy with, with full blast and deal 7 damage to him. No, it was, it was Corm. Oh, I'm sorry. So that was his reaction. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly say, tell us who the thief was. Or we can continue. Uh, he gives a, after, after that flame, you see a couple of uh, guys come out of here. And uh, he gives out a whistle. Uh, and they kind of look up the stairs. You see him uh, charge towards you. Uh, it's going to take him a few. It's going to take him a few turns, of course, because okay. it's what 100 feet away. So probably two turns when we get there. Okay, so I'll use my second attack. Cora, uh, what are you doing? Uh, that's going to miss. He just used his reaction. I'm also going to. <laughs> Let's take this guy out. Fist of Unbroken Air. So he 3d10. Cool. Sweet. Uh, he's dead. He's dead. Okay. Yeah, you, pu you punch him basically into no, the gets, wall. He gets, a, he gets a strength saving throw for half. Uh, Ooh. He's dead. Okay. <laughs> If, Spare the dying! You just killed the weapons no. miss! Ah uh, yeah, so you, you knock him basically into the wall, and you can see light pour through through the side of the side of the wall there. Uh, as just splinters and stuff are just covering it. Alright, Sebastian, find your stuff. Yeah. Sebastian cool. is going to wander in and start looking around for his stuff. Okay, uh, give me an investigation check. Um... I will. Okay, this is the top layer. I'm going to break into the second layer. Break the second layer? I feel like you're going to have some cookie lust here. Yeah, okay, I'm going to give it to you. Okay, uh, the f you can uh, try to grab it with the flamethrower if you like. Um, so, yeah, you, you grab it with the flamethrower. I see no reason why you wouldn't be able to grab it. If you want to do it so um, no one notices. Oh, so no one notices? They will clearly notice you stole that flamethrower. Oh, it's flaming. It's flaming. Oh, it's still flaming? Oh, no, yeah. I'm going to put it away. <laughs> you could put it away? Okay, um, where do you put it? My backpack. Backpack? Your, Your backpack is now on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you can't turn it off? You need a sheath. Okay, cool. Uh, at this point, there are about six, seven guys right here. Oh, lord. Did I find uh, any of my stuff? Uh, you, see the, you see the dwarf is front among them. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing down there, Salma. Sorry, Salma. You're up there. <laughs> you're running? <laughs> you're running? Cool. You're running to put out the fire. <laughs> okay, oh, oh, you're moving, Danjo. Yeah. Cool, so you're running uh, behind him. I'm wondering, no, I'm, I'm asking if, uh, if I see the guards, clearly. Oh yeah, you can easily see the guards. Uh, I'm going to cast Hypnotic Pattern. Cool. And... I assume they can't hear me from here, and I'm going to, if I need to, cast or use sleight of hand, so that they hopefully no one knows it was me that casted it. I would be deception. Deception. All right, that's even better. So what's that spell do? Oh, yeah, with a hachira, you managed to do the spell. It's got no verbal. It's. Or does it have her? Regardless, you kind of, you make a lot of motions and uh, it appears to go disguised. Uh, you get kind of bumped on the side by somebody running past you to get up the stairs. <laughs> cool. Drop. Okay. Um. So these guys are going to do throws. Uh, let's see if how the dwarf does. Dwarf is messed up. And looks about. Oh, three saved? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's about half of them are gone down, or at least hypnotized. 
Oh, uh, so they're going to strike at you then. At uh, me? Well, they're gonna go for the people who are clearly looting. Right, right, right. Invisible! Uh, what about camera motion? We can talk about this. Uh, camera motion is gonna be very difficult people who are you already fighting. Invisible! Invisible! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, It'll see a blue the Nike. I went to hell of a hand basket real quick. <laughs> What's going on? What is? What's going on? Roger, I'm out as well. It's me, Mario. Roger. <laughs> cool. Okay, so I'd say the um, yeah, about half of them are down of our hit high, so they're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Lucky uh, guys. Uh, so it looks like two of them are going to go for Soma, who's using that flaming sword. Uh, and is also on fire. Has also his backpack is on fire. Uh, they one guy attacks you twice. Um, Sixteen, twenty. They hit. Ah, uh, yes. Cool. The other guy attacks you twice. Ooh, but he's going to miss. Um, so you were dealt 11 damage, Soma? Shouldn't people roll initiative? Um, we should, yeah. Oh, because they all get along. They're all in the point. I'm not sure if that's me. He likes you a lot. Pirates. We need to start a morning meditation circle <laughs> before we do any actions every day. Hey, that bastard shouldn't have robbed us. Or he shouldn't have fenced on He shouldn't have fenced on the good of them. But we did the same thing yesterday. Cool. Wow, about 22 and 25 is awesome. Okay, We're I the assume. Best pirates, guys. I assume the other ones aren't doing anything. Don Jones. I got 14, cool. Okay, uh, so Morgan, go ahead. You just saw your allies get attacked. You can see more of the, these guys coming out. I've disabled half of them. I think I've done my part. There's four of them. Yep, there's four that jump <laughs> out right now. Uh, <laughs> when when the door opened and I went out, how did, how did it look inside? How it look inside? Um, it looks similar. I'm gonna just show you. I'm pretty sure it's first enough. It looks similar to that. You see more people in there too. Okay. But there is most certainly a stair. Stairs. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um. So we went to Morgan. Do, do they look hostile to me? Ah, uh, to Morgan, no. They are hostile certainly to all the guys up here, though. Okay. Uh, I. But they are they turn. are quite armored, so cool. <clears throat> so uh, I'll just look look neutral. Uh Suima, <laughs> Thanks, go for it. Thanks. <laughs> There's four of them next to me. <laughs> yeah, but they don't expect to suspect you. <laughs> Suima, have, go for it. Heavy okay. armor. Uh, um so he's gonna take this new fling sword and he's gonna... Uh you put in your backpack oh, already. Oh, okay. As my action, part of my action I'll take it out. Cool. Uh, it would, it would, it would be like your entire. Uh, to pull, pull it out of a backpack, it's just a lot of work. Well, the backpack's mostly in the ashes. True. All the stuff is now on the ground. I'll allow you to, I'll allow you to pick up. In less, in less than a sec. It's a magical flaming sword. Does it surprise you? It's like a volcano. Yeah. <laughs> so it, I can just pick it off the ground, right? Yeah. So. Okay. If, uh, and he's gonna attack these two guys. What are the stats on it? On the sword, um, it will give yeah, you. A, uh, let's assume at the moment that's yeah, magical, so it'll give you a plus one to attack and uh, damage. Oh, I thought it was like a, the fire. There's a actual flaming sword there. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not gonna give you a flame tongue sword because I'm not insane. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah, like all a, this, all like this for. Plus a, three, for plus fun. three, lets you become a god for for one turn. It's no. And they answer the, the guy that does four attacks, sure. Not me. So I'm just gonna use my. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna take this. Do what feels right. 
All right, so um, this one is on the left one first. Cool. And then this one's on the right one. Uh, did you cast um magic weapon on your weapon today? Uh, are you asking Suma? I'm at yeah, I'm asking Suma. I don't have magic anymore. Oh, I, th I thought you were the spell sword. That must be that Morgan. Yeah, oh, Corin. Okay. Yeah, uh, so go ahead, do your thing. Watch out for getting horribly destroyed by a samurai. Uh, 20, oh, 26 is a crit. Um, do you have advantage? Um, I'm going in my rage. Oh, okay, cool, you're in rage. That's cool. Um, so yep, that's a crit, so you roll again for damage. Uh, just one, just roll one more thing. Another one. I was gonna use yeah. that. Uh, <laughs> you can use the one on the bottom. So two. So it's uh. Sure. Twelve plus eight. Cool. On the first one, the other That's one missed. Cool. So I uh, do this flaming attack on one. Kind of hear a scream come out of them. And uh, these guys are going to boom. Uh, these guys don't get their turn. Wait. Oh, I'm not done yet. Oh, you're not done. No, no. Oh. Now, part of the mobility, and if, as long as I attack them, they, I don't provoke. Cool. And as I move away, my full speed. Okay, cool. sweet. One, and then I have a movement fifty. So. Okay. Uh, let's start over here. When you go down that jump, it's about twenty feet. Uh, give me a dexterity saving throw, or ac acrobatics rather. Uh, acrobatics. Yeah. Seventeen. Seventeen plus yeah, six. That's, that's, that's good enough to roll. I jump all the way up over here. Well, oh, it's a ten foot movement. I could just jump all the way over here. Cool. And then cut the action to move right here, and then I'm done. Cool, cool. <laughs> yep. Um, these got these samurai look over to Corin and Sebastian, clearly looting place still. <laughs> uh, these four are going to go try to chase down the one guy. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Uh, these guys skip the over turn. Over the bar? Um, they're gonna try to go over the bar, yeah. They're gonna jump it. Okay, and uh, looks like uh, these two are going to try to. Yeah, they're gonna just strap attack them. Uh, Sebastian. I'm trying to arrest him. Uh, 15 and 14 on you, Sebastian? 15 will hit. Cool. And as my reaction. Lightning jumps out for me to strike the guy who hit me for 2d8 damage. Cool. Five. Nice. Um, no, this guy's still up. Uh, wait, was, that, was that Sebastian who was taking it? Yeah, good. Uh, Corin, yeah, uh, attacking you. One, two. Wait, is that one guy attacking me? One guy attacking me, yeah. Okay. Um, so that is... That's cool. And the second guy attacking you. Oh, wait, they're both attacking me. They're both attacking me, okay. yeah. Can I use my reaction then? Go for it. Okay, I'll use my reaction one key point to have dodge. Attack oh. me with disadvantage for this turn. Okay, we well, really should have said that after I attacked. Oh, I, th I thought you said two of them attacked last year. So no, no. The one of them attacked twice. It was, yeah, oh. he's gonna attack twice. Ah. 16 damage anyway. I try to shoot Um, yeah, and these guys don't get moved yet. Dunjo! <laughs> Dungeon. Um, sorry. Oh god, I have one more, I guess. Fuck off! Fuck off! The show is going to be fine. Sink the ship. Sink the ship. Shoot your right, Kyle. Lightning. I don't think even if we had a storm going, I could sink yeah, the ship. Yeah, well, right. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, this ship's pretty big. It'll be hard to see. Seven throat, drop the knife. It's covered in tiger blood. No, it me. No, you went to shoot the tiger. You can't kill a turtle. It isn't actually a turtle. Does this place have walls? Was it? Does this place have walls around the outside? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's completely walled in except for a 100 feet up. You can see there's an orb at the very top. Okay. Or severe, or small uh, sphere that's sitting right in. <laughs> it must be magic. Destroy it. What? Fire big dog. That's a big Sorry, dog. a lot of people yelling over here. Did you remove me from the list? I'm still gonna do something. I'm sorry. I 
Did you even roll initiative? I rolled, but you removed me. I was first. Oh, no, uh, you said you delayed, right? Uh, I just yeah, being uh, yeah, that means you can uh, come in whenever you want. Oh, okay. Do you want to come in now? I'm gonna act after it does it. Cool. I'll, I'll play until I see what else happens. Yeah, the dog cool. will do it. That's how I do it. Okay, uh, Morgan. Uh, it's the door open. Uh, it is not open. Wait, what door? Oh, that door? Uh, no, it's closed. Uh, um, uh, I go uh, invisible and then nice. go to the door. <laughs> cool. And tries to open it. Cool. Uh, you look inside. You see there's about uh, about ten, twenty guys getting ready, to, getting armored up. Do I see any looking captain? Um, you don't particularly. Okay. Can I still move or? I'm um, gonna keep moving. I'll let you, I'll let you finish your movement. Uh, I'm looking for stairs. Oh, here. Um. Okay. Cool. Uh, the stairs are, I'd say, right over here. I'll go up for the stairs if I can. You get as close as you can, at least. Yeah, I don't know how. Yeah, you Much. get you get to about there, and now you'll be able to try to go upstairs. Um, Coral, do you want to try that? Okay, so I'll use my uh, uh, Fist of Unbroken Air against the guy to the south of me, which is 3d10. And it gets a strength save for half. Oh, uh, he's fine. Uh, so 10, 8 damage. Okay. Um, I also use Flurry of Blues against him, which is 2 attacks. Cool. <laughs> So one of those hits. Oh uh, yep. So 12. twelve damage, cool. Cool. He's still up. He's still up, yeah, he's fine. Uh, I think he bit off a little more than you guys could chew. Yeah. Uh I guess Sebastian, your turn. I'm going to disengage and move over here. <coughs> using cool. my cunning action. Sounds good. And then I'm going to cast calm emotion. I doubt it's gonna work. Come on, Crit. And that's a charisma save. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna look up the spell exactly to make sure that they don't get, um. If they attack targeted by a turf rail. Cool. Uh, boom. 16. That's. I, I seriously doubt it doesn't beat you. Yeah, that. That doesn't. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, that succeeds. Looks like they're fine then. Cool. Uh, so you want to do anything else? No, that's all I got. Cool. Uh, oof. And at this time, uh, where are you? Yeah. Uh, you, you see that the remember that there's a bartender right there. Is, is that a yes? Do we remember? Yes, there was a bartender cool. that was... Cool. <laughs> okay, and where is the turtle ship? Yeah. Okay, uh, give me a uh, wisdom saving throw there, so you know. This has got to be done. Are we doing dishes? How are we doing that? Nine. Uh, you kind of get held in place and then kind of picked up off the air. Uh, you were being you were under the effects of hold person. Okay. Cool. As your action, you may try to do another wisdom save to try to be, get out of it. Um, it's your turn, Flema. Flema, fourteen. Um, oh, you only got fourteen. Okay. Ah, uh, you 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 don't do it. Okay, uh, so these guys continue on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and boop. This gets you nice and surrounded. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, they used all their movement to uh, do that. Um, this guy, these guys are going to attack uh, Coram. 
I build my reaction again to dodge. Cool. Okay, uh, this guy's going to move to here. Give himself some nice advantage, so your dodge is kind of removed by those two. Uh, this guy doesn't have advantage, so he gets a 8. But this guy is completely fine. It's a 1. This guy's also fine. It's a 14. I'm assuming they miss. Uh, yeah, I've got 17. Cool. Um, yep. Uh, they surround them. Uh, a couple more guys going to come out. Oh, not here. Well, keep making new guys. Um, <laughs> there's no prison. They're gonna tie um, rocks to you and throw you overboard. Okay, these guys come out. Um, Morgan, yes, you're up. I have to. Okay. Um, I keep going up until I find someone that looks like a captain. Uh, as you get up there, you find that this place is just laid row upon row of um, of uh, bowmen, and they're just getting ready to fire. But no captain? You see no captain, now. I keep walking. Cool. Uh, you Four. keep going. I'll say you get right here. Uh, the stairs be over here somewhere. Um, but you still you find no captain so far. Okay. Uh, Dunjo, you want to try that? I don't have a death wish. Good call. So I pass. I apologize, <laughs> fellas. Corum, you're up. You know. Okay. Oh shit. Completely forgot to knock back the guy last turn. I did nothing. Oh well. Um. Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. So I attacked him guys last time. Normal attack first. Okay, uh, 21's gonna hit. Yep, 6 damage. Oh, okay. He's still up? Yeah, he's still up. Okay, another attack. Ah, uh, it's gonna miss. Yes. Okay. Uh, Go say he's a key. Am... Oh, I forgot that these guys even existed. I'm sorry, one second, let me just, um... 1, 2, 3, 4... Uh, Weren't they hypnotized? Uh, they were unhypnotized by last turn, so they've gotten their action. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm not going to give them their extra attack, but consider yourself in the bone zone. <laughs> okay. Uh, I lay down on the ground, place my arms behind my head, and yell <laughs> that I, I'm surrendering. Awesome. Uh, Sebastian? Going to cast Cure Wounds on Corum. Oh, that's, uh, a, that's a fun idea. <laughs> as a second level spell. Cool. Oh, I'm just gonna make you prone, Corin. You get 17 hit points back. Nice. Okay. And then I'm going to pout and sit in the chair next to me as Corum uh, uh, surrenders. Cool. Uh, Soima. You are still held, so you can use another action. You fail again, I'm afraid. <laughs> no. Okay, uh, these guys, uh, they kind of laugh, and they take the flaming sword out of your hands, and they're going to bind your hands with, uh, with rope, and as well bind your legs with rope. At least they didn't beat you unconscious. No. Um, they're going to take away your items, Corrin, and they're as well bind your hand with rope. And Sebastian, they're gonna, they're gonna try the same. Do you want to try stop them? Sebastian? Mm, thinking. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just gonna hold my hands up and let them. Cool. Uh, they also take out blindfolds for you, as well as they uh, gag your mouth, because they, they don't want you doing anything crazy. Uh, so if you can do spells, not anymore. Okay, cool. Um, so I'd say we're out of combat. Um, and most of you guys are now defenseless. Or at least three of you are. Um, so yep, so these guys all gather up. Um, this guy kind of starts shouting out orders to, um, to get the, um, what's the word? 
Ah, uh, get some get some anchors together. <laughs> no, they grab at these guys. They bring them down the stairs. Uh, what happened to turns. the weapon vendor as I well, when I uh, spared the dying on him? Ah, uh, nothing. Didn't work. He was he was far too gone. You can clearly see there was a lot of um, which we call it um, a a piece of the of the wall just went straight into his chest, most likely into his heart. How many turns have they done now since I'm still in action? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, Morgan, you're still in action? Yeah. Uh, you, you go up to the very top and you just see more and more bowmen, but you find no captain. However, this guy appears to be barking about orders. Maybe you can try to throw the wheel out real hard. <laughs> <laughs> tilt the boat. <laughs> yeah, tilt the cool. boat, and then maybe I could grab the others. And uh... so I, I go through the whole building without finding any any captain. Essentially, uh, people okay. do eventually find you, and they they tell you what are you doing here, and they try they how, they, how they, do they find me? Be, oh, you're invisible. How long are you invisible yeah. for? An hour. An hour. Never mind. They don't find you. You're fine. I yell at the guy showing orders. So the man we killed was a criminal uh, who tried to set me on fire. Uh, he says, I, I, knew, I knew Temi very well. He was no criminal. He was fencing stolen goods. <laughs> <laughs> he, he says, uh, he says um, I, I do not believe you. He, he fenced goods which I gave him which were stolen. He, he says, well, sounds like you're admitting to having stolen goods. And then he tried to set me on fire. Says, uh, it sounds like you want to be thrown overboard for wrestling, man. For wrestling? He tried to set me on fire. Uh, Soima, you've been attached with an anchor. Um, while this happening, I'm going out as well from the building. You're going what? Going out from the building, since I can't find the captain. Oh, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah. Well, I'm confident that our companions have our backs. Cool. Um, Corum, you are now attached also with a hook, as well attached to a uh, anchor. With rope. Uh, of course. Well, um, okay. with rope attached to the attached between them, but. Okay. Do, do I see the bartender bossing them around? Uh, who's saying this? Morgan. Morgan? Uh, do you yeah. see it? Uh, you see it now from where you are. Okay, I'll sneak up on the bartender. Cool. Uh, Sebastian, you are now also. Okay. Um, he says uh, you, the bartender says to um, to send him out, send him back to uh, to Delug. Um, right before, uh, right after he says that, I said, uh, say stop, and I um, if you make them shark food, <laughs> I'll uh, cut your throat. Uh, um, intimidation. Don't, don't give him any ideas. Give me an intimidation check. And you are behind him, I, I suppose you want to be? Yeah. Cool. And invisible? And invisible, yeah. yeah. Uh, plus, what does intimidation go on? Uh, it's charisma. So it's 2 plus 3 because I have uh, proficiency in it. Sweet. Seriously. Yeah. He gives out a <laughs> smile and you see him snap his fingers as a massive turtle shell grows from his back. Uh, kind of knocks you backwards, and then he lands, bloop, uh, basically inside of a giant turtle shell. And, um, kick, kick, Wait, 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 wait. Before, before you do that, I wanted to do something. Oh, feel free. Is our stuff, um, is our laser the only thing that are bound to this anchor? Um, it is attached to, um, they actually put a hook inside your body. Oh, Jesus. A hook? Yeah. They used a fish. They used like a like a like a, a hook for you know, dragging fish around, just oh, shoved into your body, and so and now they're our, throwing things off. Are our arms free at least? No, your arms are bound. Oh. Your legs are bound, and you're gagged and blindfolded. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try one more hypnotic pattern right before they kick them off. Okay. Um. Uh, as as I'm falling, uh, I, I try to push into the the guy with the keys. A guy with the keys? Yeah, no, we're, we're tied up. We're not shocked. The keys to your rope? 
<laughs> oh, is it rope that's... Yeah, you guys are tied... No, you are tied in chains. And no, no, you're bound with rope and uh, then attached with a hook inside you that is attached to a large oh. anchor. You find keys, but... <laughs> you. And even if you did, you're blindfolded and you have no hands. That's why he grabbed for keys. Yeah, um, so yeah. Uh, so you can go... Keys. You can go ahead and give me a roller, Danjo. Try. It. I'll, I'll I'll give you a roll. Um, that's my that's my deception to hide it. To hide it. Um, it's gonna be very difficult considering there's a guy right behind you. Actually, no, oh, he's, a, he's in a turtle shell. That turtle shell. Now. Yeah, he is in a turtle shell. Yeah. Uh, though it would be probably yeah. more like Morden Crad's uh, house. Morden Cannon. I don't care. <laughs> uh, so the first guy fails and Sebastian fine. Second guy uh, succeeds and Soma is drowning. <laughs> So I'm just going to put you back there, and let's see how you're doing, Coram. And this guy fails, and uh, Coram is still up. Uh, although you guys are still bound at the legs, hands, uh, gagged, and I still. So, bro! Blug, 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 trying blug. to get my hands out of the... Uh, are we nuts? assuming all the other ones failed it? Uh, we're assuming that all the other ones are going to be distracted for a turn at least. Okay, that was my dexterity check to become unbound for hands at least. Okay, uh, what'd you get? 21? Yeah. Mm, that is a high check. I really want to give it to you, so I'm going to. Um, just light of hand yeah. to do the same thing. Uh, cool. Excuse me. 15. For your hands being as tightly bound as they are, I'm not going to give it to you. Oh no, that was for my feet. For your feet? How how'd you how'd you undo your feet? Slide of feet. Slide I'm of an feet. elf. Okay, well uh use your action to get your feet undone and it doesn't work. So is Suima in the water. Uh so, uh so, so, yeah, so, Suima is, is in the water and he's down probably about twenty feet right now. Uh Sebastian. Uh, do you want to do anything? Uh, or Danjo or Morgan. Uh, I want to try so we, intimidation. So we want to do something as I uh, hit the water. Is that possible? Uh, what do you want to do when you hit water? When I, be, when I hit the water, I'm going to rage. Oh, um, I'm I will. I'm, take, I'm taking damage, right? I'm assuming. Um, yeah, from from the hook inside you, at the very least, you took damage. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. So uh, you are now enraged. Your hands are free, but your legs are still bound. This hook is dragging you down. Okay, so I'm gonna try to um, break oh, out of my binds. My own. So what's the check to bust out of the binds? Uh, of your you, leg binds? Well, Rosie, strength. I think you might be better off trying to rip the hook out. Add with strength or dexterity. Try to break out of my binds before I can do the hook. Yeah, your your arms are already free, aren't they? Yeah, you said you got your arms free now. Yeah, you, you tried to get your arms free with the 22, right? Yeah. Right. Oh, I, that's, didn't a, I didn't roll yet. Oh, you got thirty. Oh, who got a quorum? Got twenty-one. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Give me a give me a roll. <coughs> you give me a strength roll. Try to bust them. Oh, okay. Uh, Although they are soaking wet, which should increase their strength. So I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna make sure to think about that. I crit. But when you crit a twenty-six, I have to allow you to bust out of your arms. <laughs> So um, your arms are busted out of, so that's another, but you still sink, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. Cool. Uh, what do you want to do now? Oh, is it my turn still? Um, I'm just going to assume, because your turn is unrelated to anyone else's turn, mostly oh. because you're underwater for the next five turns. Okay, I'm going to try to remove the hook. Cool, uh, give me a strength saving throw. Awesome. Woo! Beautiful. Uh, you still go down that six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just because you have to actually pull onto it and let go. Okay, Um, you are now sinking due to the weight of your own armor. Assuming you have armor. Uh, that they stripped them. him. They, they, they took they, equipment. They took his stuff off. They wouldn't, have, they wouldn't have de-clothed them. He doesn't wear armor. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, you're, you're a monk. You don't wear armor. Oh, you're, no, you're, I'm a, barbarian. you're a barbarian. Sweet. Um, how, what weapons are you currently carrying? Uh, a Nothing giant. All, all all stuff fell off. Sweet, <laughs> sweet, sweet. So good. <laughs> oh, fiery sword. Keep the fire sword. Yes. <laughs> cool. Um. So yeah. So you can now try to swim up to the top. Give me some rolls. 
Get rid of this music. Keep going. Am I still taking bleeding damage or no? Um, uh, nah. Okay. I'm just gonna roll the unmodified and just one person. Yeah. You're not wearing armor, so you should be able to get out pretty quickly. Yeah. So you, get, you get about 16 feet, and then you get about. Yeah, just, keep, just keep rolling until eventually you get out. Because there's three turns, this be your fourth. Uh, give me another one. I failed one. Oh, okay. Um, so that'd be six. Give me, give me, keep going. Well, so seven, eight. Keep going. Yep, Blackbeard, keep going. Yeah, okay, uh, it's nine. What's your Constitution uh, score? Because that's really going to determine when you start drowning. Ooh. But you do eventually burst out like a fish. <laughs> oh no, it's the duck! <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, so uh, in 10, about 10, uh, 11 turns, you will be able to, to act. Uh, so what do you guys want to do? Okay. Uh, Sebastian huh? is laying on the dock. Yeah. Um, so Donja, do you want to do anything? or? Let's see, so there's one guard there that's still active, the one I kicked in Suima. Um, yeah, uh, and I assume the rest are, the rest are aware, but, um, but just not going to do anything for a round. They're not going to go up and attack you yet. Twelve turns, yeah. If you have a con of less than twelve, you're going to start drowning. Just note that. Uh, so Dungeon, yeah, what do you want to yeah. do? He has a lot. Um, what can I polymorph into with seven hit dice that I, I could? Uh, Giant turtle monster. Dolphin. <laughs> or a sea snake. All all I know is once you you don't want to do anything too big because then they'll just surround you and stab you to death. The walrus. <laughs> the giant walrus. Shark. <laughs> could you, could you? Gator. Giant gator. Uh, you want to become a giant alligator? They don't like salt water. Uh, what about like a hydra? <laughs> oh my god! Is that the build at level seven? That's awesome. I'll allow it, but note that uh, you a siren. It just means that all your heads will be cut off slowly. Aww. And grow new ones. <laughs> and they even have a fire I, I just, sword. Uh, are hydras... Yeah, you can see you can see this guy, I'm gonna say right here, as the fire sword. Amphibious? <laughs> uh, so we want to turn into the danger. Are hydras amphibious? Uh, I'm gonna say, sure, why not? Enough. <laughs> they, can, they can go in the water for about, you know, a minute without drowning. But can they swim? Uh, not well with all those heads. Is there one that's like a like a water? Like a, yeah, like, like, a like a hydro hydra? Yeah. Um, I'll, give me a, give me an intelligence check. See if you or uh, history. See if you know one. Yeah, try to be the fifteen. With your bucket on your head. Turn it to a giant sea. Okay, snake. cool. Yeah, you do know of one. Alright, so I run past all these guys who are not paying attention. Cool. Uh, and you brrrrrg. Yeah, and I jump in and become as big of a hydra as I can become. Cool, that's, that's about all I can do. 3 by 3 Alright, and then I grab Coram and Sebastian with uh, my, that's, my head. That's, like, that's about all your movement at the moment. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna move Donja out of the way. Cool. cool. Um. So yeah, you uh, you want to grab those two? Uh, these two are going to see that just happened, look at each other, and just shake their head and say, "Just finish them off." And they're going to start slitting throats. Oh. Yeah, they're. My turn. They ain't playing games. Um, I will allow you to go, Morgan. 
Yeah. Jump yeah, in the water. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I I go up to him. Roll in the water, whip, guys. Okay. Uh, up and up, he, uh, against the giant uh -huh. turtle shell. Yeah. Okay, go for it. And uh, put my weapon up to a hole. I guess he's inside it. Okay. And then, uh, here we go. Uh, like, until I feel it reaches some flesh. Ah, uh, you can try. <laughs> yeah, I, I try. Okay, give me, give me. Um, uh, which one of these squares do you think he's in? I'll allow it. So you choose which one. Um, the one furthest away. This one right here. Yeah. Cool. Now give me a attack roll with disadvantage. No, I'm just. I'm not yeah, yeah. This, stab this, him that's essentially what you're doing is trying to figure out, fish him out, and um, I'll tell you if you if you think you hit him or not. Okay. So it's an attack roll. Yeah, essentially. Uh, plus five. Roll eighteen. And again for disadvantage. Again. Oh, one d twenty plus five. Nine. Uh, you maybe hit some fleshy. You know, the walls of this thing feel kind of fleshy on the inside. Okay, um, I do intimidation again. <laughs> cool. Give me a roll. Um. Oh, uh, 20 plus... Oh, that's what I should've done. I should've intimidated these guards. <laughs> that would be a good 23. call. 23. 23? Ah, I see the turtle shell start to shake a little bit. Yeah, I, um, I, I tell him to let the other people go and uh, okay. drop their weapons and go back into the house. Uh, so they're gonna coup de grace both Sebastian what? and his friend. Um, the, helpless, are they? the amount of damage they're going to do is tremendous. I have my hands free, I can take actions. Where's our healer? I, you, you could, you could, I suppose, but you're also prone. You know, so that's, they're just going to keep on bashing it until you die. Oh, well, I, uh, each time they attack me, they're going to take 2d8 lightning damage. Is that a spell or is that a... Uh, that's a reaction for being a storm cleric. Nice. What, What's... um, as a general question, did you get that from 3.5? Because the uh, answer is... This, is think. that no, is that an alpha? Yeah. Uh, Tempest Cleric. It is... Oh, I, I don't even remember a Tempest Cleric. That's right. That's Vengeance awesome. of the Storm. When a creature within 5 feet of you hits you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction to deal 2d8 lightning or thunder damage. So you can do it once. You can do it once, that means. Uh, each, re each round, yeah. Yeah, each Up round. To my wisdom for day. Oh, really? No, no. Uh, it means you can do it once as a reaction, so... Yeah. So that means... Four of them are going to slit your throats while one's electrocuted. Uh, I'd like to take my action. Um, Who? Uh, Corum. Corum? I'm going to use, yeah. One oh, one. Um, you, didn't you already use your action to unbind your hands? That was before we've, stuff's happened since. No, that was, this, that was these guys' turn. Uh, and they haven't got their turn yet, actually. Which is going to be slitting throats. Uh, can you <laughs> roll the rest of their will saves, just in case? Um, it, it's their turn now, so... I, I suppose fine. Um, yeah, we won them. Did none of them react on the? Yeah, that's that's oh. plenty enough to be able to split these guys. Uh. Um. So Sebastian, let's just assume, and your body floats in the water. Let me save the dying. There's a big <laughs> oh, there's a big giant hydra. <laughs> you you have to roll to not kill him. And do you want me to just attack you there, uh, Corp? Um, I, I'd like to take my reaction for. Uh, yeah. Can I take? Yeah, yeah to, de to defend. Key yeah. Dodge. Yeah. Yeah, as a reaction, I, I absolutely allow it. Um, so they're they're going to start slicing. Um, you're on the ground, so every so they don't have advantage because you did that. Uh, so yeah. 17, uh, 14. So one guy hits once. Uh, another guy hits once. Another guy hits once. So that's 3d10, 19 damage. They start stabbing and slashing. Jump in the water. <laughs> good call. That would be a good call. And uh, these guys actually do notice the uh, Kame being attacked. They're going to rush over to him. No, I'm still invisible. I didn't attack him. I'm just yelling you, out stuff. 
okay, well, they're going to go to his aid because he's a giant turtle and he only does that when he's in defense. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you, Kame? There's a guy <laughs> trying to poke at me. Oh. Where is he? <laughs> Wait, isn't his polearm invisible? Yeah, the, uh, his polearm is invisible, but this guy could still feel pokes being... He can still see pokes being done into the thing. Into the wall. Um, so let's see. Uh, yeah, so... Shinma's still like 15 turns behind. Uh, what do you want to do as a gigantic Hydra? <laughs> see if Sebastian's uh, further dying. I don't have that, but... Uh, when... Corum rolls into the water. I should be fine. I will grab Corum with, and I will one of my heads. Cool. Uh, your sharp, tooth-filled heads. Don't Please do give I me. Mean, I won't bite him. I'll I'll put him in my mouth. <laughs> you, you just described biting. <laughs> I'll just hold him in my mouth. And caress him he's with a my butterscotch tongue. candy. He's he's not small enough that you can swallow him whole. So you're gonna have to bite him at the very least. <laughs> Grab me by my ropes. It's like his blood. I can hit. I grab him by his ropes? Uh, grab you can him try. Grab him by the neck. Wrap <laughs> 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 him with a neck. Oh, okay. Like wrap Your a neck giant around snake like -like necks. All right. I, uh, you can try. Uh, give me a grab roll with disadvantage because your neck isn't built for grabbing. I think I'd rather. Rather try to uh, <laughs> rather bite him. Bite him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. Is Sebastian dead or is he dying? Uh Sebastian. I'll allow him to be dying, but you guys are pretty effed. Yeah, you, you should see if Sebastian. I'm okay. Well, there's not a whole lot I can do. I'm a Hydra. <laughs> underneath him, kind of. Why him. would you do this? <laughs> <laughs> it's all Why started you with you guys. guys what? Yeah, it really seemed like a bad idea at the time. I didn't that punch dwarf. the dwarf, I tried to save his life! He overreacted. Alright, well I'm gonna bite both Coram and Sebastian. No, I don't need Ben. <laughs> cool. Uh, uh, Coram's, Coram's not in the water yet, but uh... Well, I'm gonna grab Seb Sebastian with one mouth now. Cool. Give me, give me, a, give me an attack roll. <laughs> uh, what's a Hydra's strength modifier? Yeah, let's put it at three. Okay. Uh, so you miss. How many heads do I have? Uh, you, you, you have several, but you have very poor control of them. After as as you're not in this form a lot. Okay. Swim down and try to grab him again. Um. Yeah, I'll allow it. I'll allow you to try to swim down and get him. Okay, and so you are now, what, about 25, 35 feet down? Uh, give me another attack roll. 10. Yeah, you miss again. Actually, no, he's not moving. You bite onto him. Uh, give me some damage. Uh, 2d4 for your sharp teeth. Okay, so you start, you start uh, gnawing into his soft flesh. But he has now grabbed up by you. Um, let's see, uh, what do you want to do, Corrin? Corum? Corum? Yeah, okay, so I channel key Next to, be to Morgan. an ice raft um, using Shape of the Flowing River uh, cool. just beside me. On oh, sweet, the water. Yep, yeah, so I, with my free hands, I grab the anchor and roll onto it, and my impact makes it drift away from the dock. Uh, one second, let me just let's take this thing by thing. Boop. Cool, uh, so you kick off the anchor? Uh, I'm holding the anchor as I roll onto this. Cool. Because well, I'm tied onto it. Right? Uh, yeah. And the momentum, uh, how, how thick is this? How deep does it go? Oh, this is, it, it's kind of icebergy. It's about uh, 15 feet. Okay. Uh, so, so it's only... It's got, it's got a big lip as well. It's got like about yeah, four yeah. foot lip. Cool. Sorry, uh, I, I just, just want to see how much, it, how much it would dip in one side. Uh, yep, and it starts moving that way. Um, I'll, okay. I find it reasonable. Uh, okay. Uh, so these these guys kind of looking at you. Whatever. Uh, this guy still has a sword, so he's cool. Can I see Suima down here too? 
uh, Suima, um, you can see him. He's slowly trying to... He's, he'd be back here at this point. He'd be untying himself. Um, so what do you want to do, Morgan? Okay. <clears throat> I'll walk, uh, who's the one holding the sword? Um, it's probably one of the guys over here. One of them. Are you able to walk here? Um, no. That's a that's a door. That's a wall. No, I mean like here. Um, oh, uh, you want to try? You can okay. you you can try balance there, I suppose. But mm. um, you'd have to get through these guys, which would be difficult. Yeah. Even even while invisible, you'd probably knock into one of them. Okay, I'll, I'll walk. No, uh, is there any like? Uh, where does the bartender hold his gold? Um, give me a perception check, unless you want to do a search. Searching is implies using your hands and rummaging around. I do perception. Cool, give me a perception check then. Uh, plus two. Fifteen. Fifteen? Uh, I noticed him went into the this building here. But he didn't see, uh, he closed the door behind it before he put the gold in. Hmm. Okay, never mind. I'll walk over here until the guards go past. Cool. Okay, uh, and it's free to walk up to the one with the sword. Uh, you're getting ready to attack the other sword? I I'm gonna try to steal the sword cool. from his hand. Break it. <laughs> yeah. And then jump. Snap the and walk away. Yeah, more guys are coming through. I uh, kind of have to duck, kind of duck and dodge as they're coming by, and they're getting ready to, to take these guys down. Uh, I see Kami kind of, kind of get out of his shell, or at least more like he picks it up and now he has this massive shell on his back. He's got these two guys as guards. It says there's uh, someone invisible around here. Be wary. And, um, yeah, I feel like these guys would probably start taking out small weapons and, and shooting at you. So I'll accept that. Um, Quorum, coming at you. Uh, do you want to take a reaction to Yuji? Uh, I think I should have some uh, cover from the from the, from the lip. Boat. From the lip yeah. of the boat? Yeah, I made a big like, lip to, so I can kind of hide behind it. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll give you some cover, sure. Okay. Um, so um, I'll, I'll, I'll reduce these guys' thing by a little bit. Such a good advantage. Um, no, it wouldn't be advantage. It would be, it would be uh, for first. It's just minus two, and then you get okay. a disadvantage. Then. Oh, but the crit doesn't given. help. Uh, uh, Nineteen hits. I'm assuming. Yeah. And seventeen. Seventeen hit. Yeah. Cool. Um, so that would probably be about three d six. Eleven points of damage on you. Okay. Cool. Cool. And, um. Yeah, and the rest of the guys here are just getting ready to go for it. Oh, that guy's gonna fire blast. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Uh, the guy in strength would be awesome. This is good. I'm gonna wind up in there and guards. Okay, uh, what do you wanna do while in the water? Uh, assuming I'm assuming. Oh, sorry, right, it is Danjo. I was thinking, why is Danjo in the corner? But he's. Can I like bite the ice raft from underwater and pull it further away? I'll allow it. All right, and then I'll I'll grab it and pull it as far as I can. Cool. So you start making movement with this ice raft. Your friend is at. Oh, you at zero HP, buddy. Okay, uh, you're not unconscious, but you are unable to do actions. Okay. Just, you're just too dang wounded. Uh, well, and, and rather than pulling it straight out, I'll pull it around to give cover sure. from the island thing. Yeah, definitely. So I'll put you there, you there. Uh, Soma, you can kind of see all this happening above you. Uh, what do you want to do, Morgan? I'm still waiting for that sword before I'm escaping. Cool. Uh, they're probably going to 
they're gonna see guys go out and uh, they're gonna live and let die and they're gonna start out uh, moving up moving back inside hopefully Morgan meets us out here later with the rowboat <laughs> so are we out of combat now? I just assume we're out of combat alright first things first I drop Sebastian into the ice raft go back into human form, climb into the ice raft, and administer healing potions. Cool. Um, who is this again? Donjo. Cool, cool. You still have healing potions, so... I you have... Do that. Yeah, three. Probably two, probably two for Sebastian, and one for... Well, Corum cool. might not even need it, since he's only unconscious. I'll I, use Cor them Corum's, on... Corum's still conscious, he's just... Uh, he can't move, he's in so much pain. I'll, I'll use him on Sebastian until he's no longer... Uh, this this turtle is moving the turtle ship, but your and so is your ice ship. That's okay. Okay, uh, Morgan, what do you want to do while these guys start dispersing? I uh, wait for uh, opportunity to take the sword. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, this guy's going to get behind the bar again. He's probably actually going to start talking to that dwarf. Uh, the dwarf will most likely be the guy with the with the sword. Okay, so I'll go up to them, and if he's gonna hand it over, I'll snatch it. Uh, if he's go if he's gonna hand it over, yeah, if he's gonna hand it over, if he starts walking away with it, I'll take. It. He does appear to have it uh, in a sheath. It is now on the okay. side. <clears throat> um. Ooh. Uh, so it's in a holster. Yeah. Okay, uh, what binds the holster? Uh, what binds the holster? Um, it appears to be attached by a, a small chain attached to the holster. Is, it, is the chain uh, able to unhook? Um, it is. I'll try to unhook it. Slide up hands. Very careful. Sounds good. Give me a roll. Uh, <laughs> yeah, very careful, sure. Don't roll low. Do I get low. two rolls? Since because you're careful? No, since he's not expecting it. Um, when it comes to feeling, I'd say no. Okay. Oh. Critical! But it doesn't stop you <laughs> at 20. Um, you do manage to lift it off its hook. Um, it is still visible, and this guy is still looking that direction. Yeah. He's still looking uh, at him. Run! Run! I'll take it and run. Cool. Um, so, yep, you start running out. Uh, this guy sees the, the sword moving on its own, he assumes... Uh, it becomes invisible, because it, it's in my possession. Does it? Yeah. Everything Should that's e equipped to me or I wear becomes invisible. Cool. Wait, um... So it just disappears from his... When holding side. it, would you call holding something it being equipped to you? I can well, use it as a weapon. Your sword, yeah. Yeah. Would, would, you, would you say that the ground you're standing on would turn invisible? No. It's one of those things where if you're, whatever you're touching turns I'm, invisible. I'm not holding it. I, I can't, if I can pick it up, I can... Most well, now it sounds like if you're doing well, a handstand, you can turn the whole ship invisible. No, I, I'm not picking it up. Um, the um, spell says anything the target, when cast, is wearing or carrying is invisible, as right, long there. as it's on the target's person. Yeah, carrying is fine. Um, so sure, it turns invisible. Uh, this guy uh, starts looking out. But I don't know if picking up something else would make it invisible, since it wasn't part of the target of the spell. Um, how do you get away? Do you run, or do you uh, like try to sneak away? Like tick, 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 tick. It depends, but uh, does it become invisible? Uh, I'd say yes, it becomes invisible. Then I sneak. Cool. I suggest you take the boat. <laughs> sneak. <laughs> oh, 1d20 plus 2. Perception. 17. Boat becomes invisible. Perception check. He notices the sword missing. Uh, what are you doing there, Morgan? I'm sneaking away. Cool, cool. Okay, uh, where are you going? To down here somewhere. Cool. Feel free to jump in the boat. Yeah, uh, it depends if they're following me. They're probably following you. Then well, I'm look, not jumping into the boat. Um. Gonna jump down in the water. <laughs> so uh, you, they hear a splash. 
They rush over here, they look down, they see a big hole void uh, where water should be. I'm swimming under the water. I'm swimming okay. under the water. Okay, uh, how long are you gonna swim underneath the water for? Uh, as long as I can hold my breath. Up here. Cool. Um, so about like a minute. Probably. I keep swim, uh, swimming in. They'd be able to see bubbles popping up. Direction. So you'd be swimming after that, really see bubbles popping up that way. Yeah. Cool. But they they could expect it's him as well, since he was tough. <laughs> yep, Soma finally pops up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up! Oh fuck! Yeah. They, <laughs> They're they, still there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he casts hold person. Give me a wisdom check. A wisdom, <laughs> wisdom saving throw. <laughs> 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 As you begin swimming this way. Yeah. So, Soma, Soima. Cool. Uh, blum, 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 but you're now being forced underwater. Before you could accurately get a breath. Now that I'm awake and free, can I cast Celestial Bolt on the, uh... <laughs> I, I, you already said you were using this thing for cover, so if you could have attacked them, they would have been attacking you this whole time. I, so we'd, we'd assume you're in a uh, distance away enough from the ship. I don't know, 120 feet. With a ship in the way. But uh, what do you want to do? Sorry, Ma, now that you're drowning. What's the save? Um, yeah, your 17 does manage to pass it. Wait a minute, this thing was moving, right? So they would have been there. Uh, no, well, I assume you're both moving. I'm moving as fast as the ship. Why not? <laughs> if, if anything, you guys would be going in an aw awkward direction that way. <clears throat> I would assume you guys would be going southwest right now. Not really that way. Um, actually, it depends on which way you want to drag the boat while you're still... Um, Actually, uh, no, it's, drag it's all... it northwest. You would have dragged it, but then you stopped dragging it to heal. Um, yeah, and <laughs> Morgan's gonna swim. Uh, Morgan, uh, uh, you're wearing armor, right? Uh, yeah. Do you cut your armor free? If I feel I'm sinking, yes. Ah, uh, you're sinking. Yeah, I'll cut it. Sweet. Uh, so you start going that way. Okay, so you guys are now on this little raft. Uh, Soma pops up again, I'm assuming. Um, they're gonna cast another instance of old person. Wait, wait, you guys hey, can't go away. back. Come cast wanna, that many. I wanna go back in that same pot. Okay, cool. Uh, that, that... I'm, I'm, avoiding, I'm avoiding the big giant. Cool, cool, no problem. So you go out to sea. <laughs> I was just moving up this way because of the show. There. Cool. <laughs> so you guys are, you eventually get back together. You are now on a raft of ice in the middle of the sea, going essentially nowhere. Right, guys, Another fine adventure, adventure, boys. We'll do it again yeah, tomorrow. Stay on this iceberg. <laughs> That's not going anywhere. Okay. I think the we can. Bone. Yeah, you guys, you guys got a sweet flaming sword. You killed a man to get. Pirates. Flaming swords melting the iceberg. <laughs> yeah, it, no, it, no, it no. is. It's you, in the holes. You better believe it's melting the iceberg. <laughs> Even I, in the I even, hold it in the air. <laughs> hold in the air. The heat from the air is now melting the iceberg. If I drop it no. into the water, like um, holding it, it's bo it's gonna water. start boiling the water. Okay, so you guys are now in the middle of the ocean. Uh, how do uh, how uh, how do I not die from this? Um, yeah. from all your stuff, no, I assume. Well, no, I, I mean, if if it that and that, magic, yeah, yeah, that's so. magic. Okay, I'll um, count the heat. Uh, I'm definitely gonna call it game right now, just because how many hours we played. But uh, good job, guys. Didn't exactly get to the place I wanted you to get, mostly because you're in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> uh, so, pirates, that's I, enough for us. so I'm gonna save by all logic's chance. You're gonna end up where I wanted you to be next round, just by yeah. crash landing there, which means you couldn't be in a worse position when you get there. Mostly because you make big ice ships every hour. Exactly. Sebastian yeah. says it's that's this, key. and I'm just gonna water walk away. But, uh, <laughs> the thing is, like three of us drown. doesn't have equipment. Yeah. Screw you guys. I'm going home. <laughs> 
So yeah, I have um, extra daggers. I can pass out daggers. Good game, team. Uh, we'll, we'll, sure we'll, we'll try to get uh, we'll try to figure out a time to do this again. Uh, we'll see you next time. Same dungeon time, same dragon channel. Yeah. All right.